welcome to episode 19 of the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. We are coming at you live out of Brisbane, Australia, and our address is... <laughs> ...downs. Cut that con. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> Holy shit, we've had a crazy week and we got a big episode in store. we got Pauline Flopper coming on. we got a hell of a shit talk. we got a Matt vs. Michael. we got Tinder Adventures are back and we got a fucking prank call. And we got P.O. Box. Feeling a that. fair bit, bit more energy this week. So the prank call, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it right now. It's going to be a banger. It's going to be lit. So do you guys want to be honest and tell everyone how sick you are? Oh man, we- yeah, And there I might know. not be a high energy. It's yeah. definitely, we're different. No, I feel better than I did last week though. And okay. that's the truth. But yeah, I've been sick for about two weeks, right? It felt like a cold. Then it progressed to a fluish thing. And then last Thursday, I get home and I start shivering like I'm a fucking- uh, like I'm a penguin, like a fucking kangaroo in Antarctica, man. Wow, that was a cool analogy. Because <laughs> they've never felt cold before. Yeah, that's so true. Have they? No, in the desert it gets cold at night. And um, Sorry. and let me tell you what, mate. It would spend like like I woke up in the middle of the night, shivering, like freezing, but also drenched in sweat. And then you pull the blanket off because, like, you know, you got to go get changed. And that moment is by oh. far the worst. It's like 3 a.m., the coldest it can possibly be. It's winter right now in Australia. And I know everyone's like, yeah, it's not that cold. Fuck they off. always do that. Yeah, fuck you for that. It's freezing. Take the blanket off. And then I, I literally, I, I was shivering so hard I couldn't move. I was dude, <laughs> did, did, okay. like I was being electrocuted, cunt. Okay, so I've caught this from Marty and it's been going on the last Allegedly. two nights for me. And last night I spoke to Amber before. She's like, do you remember what you were like? Because I had to transfer from beds because it's like I'd pissed the bed times three. I was shivering so much. I was like crying to her saying, I'm cold, I'm cold. And then she had to dry me, put me out of the bed and then sort of like warm me because I was so cold on that bed. Really? God, it's so, I'm so nice tired that Amber does that for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, what would you get? I don't I don't like to <laughs> wake Mon because I don't like to be a, a burden. When you are that sick shivering, I've never shivered like that in my life. Yeah, I know. It I've was never bad. had this. I, ne- I nearly sent you guys a video, but I couldn't, I didn't want to pull my arm out of my blanket to get a phone because my teeth were just going oh. like that. It's uncontrollable hey, look, shivering. Mon's just to sleep next to you. Yeah, f- oh, yeah, I don't bother waking her because yeah. then I don't want to be a burden and and make but like the shivering sounds or any movements it's just like no she, she, there could be uh, I could be getting raped next to her and she wouldn't wake up wow in fact it, it's happened <laughs> yeah that's why Matt's laughing he was there <laughs> Man. anyway yeah, so bad. we're a bit crook but I'm feeling alright James a bit crook too he's had a fucking half day and fucking Mark is now getting a bit crook but we're fucking powering on we're fucking powering through and <coughs> fucking gonna go and be a fucking great episode can't, can't wait to be strong I can't wait to be healthy by the way it feels like I've been sick for three weeks now oh. since I got married I've been sick yeah, it's because that here. bender that one bender me and Mon went on has just destroyed my immune system and then because of that bender I've just been eating shit not exercising and then it's just been getting worse and worse and here I am my teeth are fucking falling out of my head the it's wedding bender yeah wow. yeah well I reckon yeah. I can't get warm or cold I just go through these temperature changes constantly <laughs> Anyway, let's talk about what we've been up to because I'll tell you something right now. It's been a lot. So we had our <coughs> the charity golf day. Oh, yeah. On Friday, we had a charity, which is the night before I got sick. So I've been looking forward to this day for months, right? Which is big charity golf day. We go and play fucking 18 rounds of golf with like all these ex-footy players and like journalists and stuff. And we knew a few of them, Feegsy and Sayafinga, like, and it was just like, I was really looking forward to having some drinks with them, some day drinks with them and just walking around playing golf. Then that's, that's the night. I was in bed by 9 p.m., so tired and so fucked, but I didn't get to sleep till like 3 a.m. So I was like, boys, I can't come in at, at 6 a.m. or whenever it fucking started. So I was like, I'm just going to sleep and then see how I feel when I wake up. And then I woke up at like 9 and went in and you boys had already been fucking gone. It yeah, was well, a good day. It was we a all lot had of fun. fun. Marty almost cost us seven grand. Oh yeah, look. <laughs> look. So at the end of the golf, there we went inside for lunch, and then they were holding this auction, auctioning off all these things, right? And um, Cam, one of the guys we knew, he was like running the auction, and um, 
and they were selling like 10 seats, 10 corporate box seats to like the Broncos fucking Dolphins game at the Gabba or something. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah something like Broncos. that. That is fucked. Dude, Lots as if that wouldn't be... Su- I know you hate football, but that would be so fun. Imagine p- piss in a big stadium with all the boys. If Dude, it would be I promise you that it's, it would be fun, but not fun enough for seven grand. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so yeah. 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 Uh, uh, so, so who? the guy so read out, out five thousand dollars as the yeah. as the as the uh, opening bid. bid. Yeah, as the opening. Oh no, bid. it was like a couple in, but he yeah. said five thousand, and then you went, and then he went next next bid. What we do? We have a seven thousand, and Marty turns around to us and goes seven hundred ain't too bad. And I was like, oh, I think he meant seven thousand. <laughs> yeah, I heard seven. Uh, he was like five hundred. And then I was like, oh, but that's quite shit. Because I was like, oh, this is just going to keep going. Or I thought, fuck, I could get us that pick up a bargain here, cunt. Because 700 for 10, 10 of the blokes, it's $70 for free piss and food for a night. Yeah, see, that's 700 I'd bad. be okay with. So I was like, oh, I was like, fuck, I'll stick my arm up for the fucking 700. And then I stick my arm up and fucking Cam goes, 7,000! <laughs> and everyone's roaring. And, oh! oh! <laughs> I was in shock. And I looked at Michael and I was like, oh, fuck, I thought he meant 700, but I'm not going to stand up and go, nah, 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 nah. nah fuck the kids because it's so for kids' hated. cancer. And then where is, there was like a few moments of like, oh, fuck, what have I done? What have I done? And then thank fuck, another table over was like 7,500. And then they won. So it was yeah. only one, I was second yeah. bit off winning. So you fully tested Yeah, Michael it. didn't realize that just at the beginning no, I had to just clarify to yeah. make sure I had heard seven and a half but I was like did you just bet seven grand yeah like, he was very oh. upset because like the thing cost us a shitload anyway because we yeah, did the we already, yeah, we'd already, we're fucking heroes we'd already given up fucking heaps of money for fucking this giant but AI it's 7k yeah, more we just right now with with uh you know what's it called that word inflation with all that going on mate and it's tax, not very good. And tax oh. coming around too. It's tax. You wouldn't know about that, Matt. But then anyway, we had a fucking busy weekend, Michael and I. After the golf day, we had to get up early, go to the Gold Coast for the Tim Zoo and Ocampo, the weigh-ins, right? We had to get some promo for that because we're doing a bit of a brand deal with KO. We're trying to like develop a relationship with KO because we want to start getting work at some of these big sporting events because it, it fits our demographic. You cunts fucking love sport. You're all in the right age for it, right? And we fucking love watching that shit. So we thought, let's do some fucking work with KO, you fucking cunt. So we went there, got some promo, and then the next day we they gave us tickets to the fight. Really nice tickets. Like we're like your four, seats look really nice. We're like four, really good. Four, yeah, we're four rows from the fucking ring. Mm. And um, met the KO team there and watched Tim Zoo beat the shit out of Ocampo. And yeah, it was a fucking fun day, man. Michael, you were saying to me that it, you, it was almost a record for the amount of people that were like coming up and wanting photos oh like yeah you said it was you'd, crazy you've never seen that many people want to get a photo yeah it was the most ever i think because it's the same demographic and it's just just fits you. It's, it's like and the, the gold, gold coast. coast i think the gold coast, gold coast seems like a lot of people know us yeah and um yeah when we got there on the way in we were just like yeah it was a we were bombarded mm. Um, like, who were yeah, the boys so you were sitting next sick. to? <laughs> it was fucking sick. Um, sitting next to one of the KO guys, and then yep. on the other side was Taylor and um, Aaron. It's just the Taylor's the guy who got us, who hooked us up with the KO boys. Yeah. So thank you, Taylor. Um, and also we've had a we've had a missing man in our area. Oh, oh my yeah. god, I'm pretty sure. So we've got a missing guy in our area. So we had police show up at the play, at the house at like Friday. Well, it all started when Mr. Brown was at Wholesome and some old bloke came over and said that his grandson was missing amongst many other things that he told us. Wow, Crazy. interesting. And uh, said that his son was just perfectly normal 20 year old. He he's ran out of fuel at 2am on his motorbike and just went walking, never seen again. He had a needle in his arm. And, and there is a fucking house across the road that's abandoned. And uh, apparently it's the last place he was seen. So the fucking, the police storm that ha- happened the next day was fucking insane. They came that night, didn't they, bro? They came that night and I did a little walk around with them um, in our yard. Were they hot? Kind of did you yeah, they're actually them? pretty nice. Did you flow with them? I would marry one. And, uh, and then the next morning we were at the golf the charity golf game and they and called all, me 
the next day. Yeah, and then then yeah, all, they were all over our house. So yeah, and yeah, then doing that even like like hey, seeing the, the movies, by meter. you see in the movies when there's like a line of uh, searches, and then they very slowly all walk together in one line. That's what they were doing in the neighbor's house, in our house. Uh, or everywhere and so they, we are NCIS number three and when the cop called he was a bit confused because we got a lot of weird shit lying around there's like babies hanging yeah, everywhere and there's a lot of weird stuff weird, like a bashed up car and shit so he's like what do you guys do and then I had to say oh you know we're making media videos and then he sort of relaxed a bit but I could tell for a second that maybe they thought that we were suspects because I, of the well, look so of our too. house Which when I took is. the uh, the two police we're, it's like pitch black dark we're walking around and we've got a little science lab on the side of the house that's filled with oh, they search things. it they, they went in there it was there's like fucking real hilarious. fucked up shit in there there's like, like jars of shit and urine and, and all kinds of yeah. it smells horrible anyway i said to the cop i oh, probably don't go in there it doesn't smell very good and i think i think he's like immediate reaction is like that's fucking suspicious and when really he, yeah when stuck his head in there and he's like oh it smells like shit is that what he said <laughs> yeah and he took a look in with the light i said yeah it's just shit i think i said there's just shit and urine in there don't it's not, oh, it's not too bad. And oh I just, I just immediately walked in the other direction just to avoid like what the reaction was to that. Wow, was he hot? I'm surprised they didn't investigate us further. To be honest, if I was a detective and that some cunts had a room full of like rotting food, well, and it could be why shit. they came back the second morning. It's a junkified it looking place. Yeah, and like, look at Matt too. He's a fucking sketchy looking dog cunt. There's also a moment where we went past like a little part that goes under the house, and he stopped and paused for a second. Like he wanted to go under and have a look at the house and then he didn't. But yeah. he maybe he's it. under there. I, I thought that. I thought maybe he's under there. And in other news. There is other news. Oh no. Oh, for there fuck's is sake. other news. Oh. So went out and um I went. Wait, is this your weekend shit? No, it's not my it wasn't my whole weekend. You, you just went through Pikachu? my whole weekend. But I did go out and um and I was at the shops and there's like this store at Chermside and it had just some cool stuff and I found these cool like holographic stickers and I found this Pikachu one and it's so cool. Look at that, and it goes a little holographic one. So yeah, and I ended up getting a little holographic uh, Pikachu uh, thingy to go quick there. So. Were you bashed at school? And there, yeah, it's my new sticker, my little holographic. Did you ever get bullied? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, good. Did you? Were you into Pokemon? Yeah, a little bit. You you would have been quite old when that was that was a thing. No, I was year six when first Pokemon. It yeah, was so, 90, you, so it was ninety six when the first Pokemon yeah, when the first came one out. came out. But like towards the end, you would have been like high school. Oh, I didn't fall in high school. Oh, I, was I don't. I don't believe you because that more, Pikachu, no, the original class. Pikachu, it doesn't look like that. You'd skip handball in the morning to stay home and watch cheese TV. Oh, I love cheese TV. Dragon Ball Z was very oh. good. Also, very old to be liking that. No, you can never be too old for Dragon Ball Z. Anyway, do you like my new sticker or not? No, <sighs> yeah, man. It like it's like, it's not. It's not going to help you with anything that's going on that's, in your life. That's why you haven't. That's the Tinder shit's not working because of that. Well, and to be honest, like that's probably hurting you in all areas of life. Like, the I'm fact that you've yeah. done that. Like I reckon, if you showed, talk, if we spoke to Greg, your dad, about that, he would fucking hate you more. He lent me his golf clubs. Yeah, yeah. Matt, well, Matt played pretty well on um, Friday. Oh. I did not. Michael turned around and said he doesn't want to play golf anymore. Yeah, I fucking played very bad we all played terribly yeah yeah until it's too, yeah. too much like fun with like everyone it's just, yeah it's too yeah. much distraction and too much beers yeah i can't i think you can if you're gonna drink it's just gonna be a fun day so you can't concentrate yeah the game. golf aspect. i knew just it was more just socializing with the boys i, I could fun. tell that you and james were getting a little just a little bit annoyed because you weren't doing well oh yeah oh dude it always hurts the soul playing bad golf it's just yeah it destroys you i've never played good golf so i don't know what that means yeah oh, i yeah yeah, you can't ever think of or think about that or do that. It's just how you are forever, my friend. What but that's because of that shit. It's because of fucking holographic Pikachus. <laughs> you put too much time into that and not enough into just common catching and motor skills. You didn't do anything. You just fucking traded cards and had Digimon battles at school. Uh, Pokemon. Can. Fucking suck me Did off you your Don't cunt. dare put me in the Digimon I can category. see you connecting you, oh, you had a Tamagotchi when you were little yeah I did fuck you let's move on okay Sorry. that's a, that's a, Matt and anime let's move on I to the anime. sponsors I yes it is you. Matt that's enough an anime picture on your lap fuck you man you need to relax so let's let's a word from our sponsors 
Hello, it's Marty here uh, from Manscaped. Um, and I realize the people I'm talking to uh, aren't doing too well. Um, there's people that are listening that, um, despite previous warnings, they continue to follow down the same route. They continue to make uh, excuses in their minds saying, I'll start next week or I've got this event on this week, so I'll start then and um, I don't need to worry about my appearance. It's all superficial uh, things of that nature have been brought to our attention. And um, I just want to let you know that that's, that's all fucking bullshit. And that if you continue to head down this trajectory, I'm not kidding, you will die so unhappy. You will die alone, unhappy and unfulfilled and all of your potential will be gone. And I promise you, I swear it on your mother's fucking heart that you will regret it. You will regret everything you fucking did. Every Monday you woke up and shrugged and said, fuck it, I'll do it later. You'll do it until you've been diagnosed. And then the regret will eat you until the cancer does. That's what you're headed for, cunt. Now go to manscaped.com, step number one. See what grooming products they have. They make it violently efficient to help you. It takes me five minutes to clip in my hair and I'm east. I'm from the east. (laughs) So it shouldn't take you long at all. Right? Go and have a look and hear a present from us to you for the actual 20. There's 20% off for your fucking troubles. At least have a look. You disgusting cunt, worthless pricks. You're fucking lying around, wallowing in self-pity. Just shut up. Turn your mind off and do something good for once. Liar! You're a liar! Also for women, hairy women, big black back hair women. Get that shit shaved off because blokes don't like it. Man, that made me cry, dude. Manscaped.com slash fully actual 20. Get amongst it and fuck off. You know you deserve better, and it starts with a trimmer. <laughs> they got heaps of things. Trim is just the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> they got balls. Your ball. Anyway, athletic. <laughs> <things>. <laughs> Oh. All right, now I got a I got a an email from um, our AG one team this morning. Oh, and guess what they fucking said? I'm right? cutting us off. <laughs> yeah, they have said to us, if we don't smarten up and add all of these things, that they are cutting funding to us. No way. Yes. What do you have to add in? I lied. Oh. They said this. I love that. They love us. They did not. No, oh, they didn't. Oh, yeah. I lied again. Oh. What they said was, they don't want to be known as athletic greens anymore because they have developed their formula so much. So apparently it's been adjusted and, and I could be wrong, but I saw this in the email like 54 times they've updated and upgraded the formula the AG1 formula to keep up with all the latest health trends and all the latest studies. Now that is fucking insane. Dedication. And you won't even fucking know they'll upgrade the formula and and you get the newest, healthiest product around. Still tastes great. They they don't want to be called Athletic Greens. They want to be called AG1 because Athletic Greens, they used to just market to athletes, to professional paid athletes who need to go you have the one percenters in order to get healthier and healthier and that's who is buying their product now anyone can buy it so now it's just ag1 ag1 that's what it's called ag1 has 75 essential vitamins and neutrals neutrals in it right that make you fucking healthy as shit they're so bioavailable you pour the powder into a glass with a bit of water and you skull it and that's your shit done for the fucking day you can get back to your wife Uh, maybe not maybe you won't need to after an ag1 you'll feel better but also it's like also step one in just fixing yourself um, Smash this little shake and you feel better. And and, the, and the, it's it's not it's it's for everyone now. Okay, they want everyone 
to get the health benefits that professional athletes were going to. It's a monthly subscription. It rocks up on your front door. You have one a day, and then you have to eat less veggies and all this fucking cumin and turmeric and coriander shit. You don't have to eat that shit because it's all in fucking power form and you fucking eat your steak and your fucking fast food and you live a bit longer. Tastes great. It tastes really good. Fully that- actual 20. The link is in the description. Uh-huh. Fully actual 20, right? You get a free travel pack so you can go fucking cheat on your missus in Perth and the one in Brizzy don't know nothing. You come back twice as healthy. You can't. Gets rid of STIs, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Chlamydia. I had one today. Yeah, I know. I saw him and you must say he looks better. Yeah. Looks yeah. happier. A fuller head of hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's a shame about Pikachu. Anyway. I swallowed my feeling. Yeah, Matt. Oh, oh. Fuck yeah, Marty's going through some Marty's rough feelings times are with falling teeth. out. Can I just, yeah, I don't want to like throw our mates under the bus, but. Oh. I had my teeth whitened before my wedding. And my teeth have started falling out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's fillings. It's like they've. Anyway, yeah, no, no, let's not, I'm not going to go them into and it. Collect them. It could be a coincidence. That's not. Yeah, we won't get into it. It's not proven. <laughs> um. So there was a UFO recently. Did I watch Vegas? that? Vegas. Yeah. Are you guys seeing that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's fucking fun. oath, man. I'm look, usually a, like skeptical of a lot of these, but this one looked like it was something definitely. Oh, what, what, mate, you don't you, know if you wait. Or not. You wait. All right. There is going to be, it's all coming out. And it's not, it's not, this isn't like, it's not a fucking guess anymore. Okay. It's proven that there are aliens. It's not like, like, so what, what do you, what, no, you don't even need proof. Just know that they're fucking real. And that's mind blowing. That's fucking unbelievable. The US government has admitted it. Every government has admitted it. There's just, it's endless, endless evidence out there, whether you believe it or not. It's not a matter of belief anymore. It's just going to become a normal fucking thing that they talk about. You fucking wait. And what next question? Unless it's holograms. <laughs> not at questions. Oh. <laughs> I was just, we're just, because Raka Raka posted that thing. It just got me going a bit. Oh, they had a little UFO in their story today. Very, very cute. That's more and more frequent, man. It's more and more frequent. Go see their horror movie. Sounds good. Oh, I can't wait. Sorry. Frequent. Can we go together? Yeah. Thank you. I'll enjoy that. Fucking feeling coming out of me. Oh, more. Anyway, um, that's shit talk, eh? That's sponsors done too. That's up for client. Oh, no. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. (laughs) What about the University of Markle, bro? Like the subscription ah. website, bro. It's fucking hectic as shit. Ah. 270 videos on it. We've got a brand new website where you can like and comment. You can search the other videos. It's fucking hectic as shit. If you're a current member and you're not on the new website yet, just email support at universityofmarkle.com and they'll send you the link and your fresh password and fucking off you go. And if you don't fucking fucking get the fucking, get in the fucking road, cunt, because there's fucking shit on there that ain't no one ever been seen done before. And we've just, we've got three new content creators lined up, ready to make content for you. We can't wait to confirm it. And fucking make that massive announcement, Con. I watched one today. Matt watched a movie. He's going to review it at the end. And that's just the beginning. If there was ever a time, Brown. Oh, I'm itchy. All right. Let's move on. And we're back! Look out. And look who we have here. We have a cheeky little Paulie at the end, and we got his big old Uncle Flop sitting next to him. Welcome to the podcast, boys. How the fuck are you? We Not are too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> what are you dressed as today, Flop? Oh, uh, the ringmaster, so... Uh, <laughs> Don't bend over. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that you, out of the two of you, you are the ringmaster. I'm the ringmaster. Would you agree with that, Paulie? Obviously, or he'd have this on. Yeah, well, look, looks like it at this point, doesn't it? Fucking Fuck don't hell. bend down, Jesus. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a little while since we had John Paulie. So, um, so what's been going on since we've noticed you've it's been a lot more content with you two coming back, which has been bloody lovely to see. So are you guys, um, you you guys living together again now? 
So no. <laughs> you won't <laughs> allow you it. Go, why you go? <laughs> all right. So I do have my own place. Yeah. All right. Okay. But uh, I like to go down and uh, just harass this guy. So he's living nearby. I actually moved in. So I've got. I had a shitload of shit. Yeah. At, at my old house when I moved up from Victoria, and I put it all in storage. And I moved into this apartment and there's no room for it. So when he's got this house, I got a truck to deliver all the <laughs> shit to his house and made my own room because it was a spare room. But I could not fucking live there with him. And, and, um, and I couldn't it, have him live there. Oh, yeah. Okay. I so cop it's enough half shit half. as it is. Is it? Because you've obviously known each other your, your whole mm. lives. Has, has Was he always doing this shit before... He had a phone filming it, or was it just sort of when when he started making social media? No, videos? he's been a cheeky ass all his life. So how old? How, so like, at what age was he? Were, we, were you like, oh, this this little cunt's a fucking little cunt? <laughs> well, probably nine, ten. He started doing. He started it. being a little ass, yeah. And what did yeah. you did you did you ever feel like hitting him? Oh, many a times. <laughs> you want to give him the fucking backhand, but yeah, he can't do, can't do that. Well, yeah. <laughs> clip under the ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little clip under the I ear. I think an open know. palm hit to the ass is okay. Yeah, I'll try, I don't like the ass. So you know. <laughs> he did just say you're the ringmaster. Yeah, I'm ringmaster, but you've taken that the wrong way. <laughs> I, do, I do recall this one time. He was asleep on the couch. He fucking used to sleep on the couch all the time. I had one of my mates, and he was asleep. It's like fully passed out and he snores like a fucking trooper. It's like a chainsaw just ripping trees down and <laughs> fucking come off his face about this far and just farted straight. His face. <laughs> and he's just fucking lost it. I don't know if you recall. He doesn't remember yesterday, but <laughs> I, I, oh, I do remember. And as I said before, he's been out for a long time. Yeah. A long time. Yeah. Now we were talking um, before we jumped on. So you've you've also started getting recognised, flopper. So people stop you on the street and they're like, "Oh, you're that guy." Yeah. All these vids. Yeah, you're that sucker. Yeah. What's that like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you like it or is it fucking oh, it's annoying? All right. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, it's all good. All it's good to know people are having a laugh. Yeah. So you know, some mm. goods come out of it, I suppose. Yeah. Keeps no, people happy. Good. Yeah. yeah. Have kind you ever keeps me happy, but <laughs> <laughs> have you ever like gotten like really, really angry and struck him or actually hurt him in any way? Nah. Is there nah. A, has he ever done anything so fucked that you're like, no, you you're not fucking posting this? Like Um, I have stopped a couple of things. Yeah. Yeah. There's been a couple of things that nobody will ever see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we hear one? <laughs> Cut an OnlyFans and release it, Paulie. <laughs> yeah, actually, you should actually just film about. him in the shower whenever you can and just post it to OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Flop his shower tails. Now we're not here to give him ideas. <laughs> <laughs> there is a source that sore spot there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're not going there. We're not going oh, there. I want to know so hard. <laughs> oh. oh shit! <coughs> yeah, so pumping out heaps of your own shit now, Paulie. So yeah. on where, where are you posting it mostly? Just Facebook? Mainly Facebook. You got a YouTube? Yeah, I yeah? Fuck, I I did mess around with YouTube, but they just keep taking it down, or uh, and it just be, I don't know, it just becomes a disaster, and I feel like we're just going nowhere with it. But I think I need to clean it up a little bit more and maybe beep out a few things. And yeah. I think it's just way too full on for uh, YouTube. What? So they're like deleting them off YouTube? <clears throat> they don't delete them. They just demonetize. They just demonetize them. Yeah. Yeah. Or, oh, yeah and then it just doesn't go anywhere. Oh man. But the worst thing is too, like you get these other pages, which are you know they they're very close to my following because they've just stolen all the content. Yeah. Oh, and they're monetizing it. And they're monetizing it. Man, wow. sometimes I feel like it's just fucking. It's luck honestly of luck of the draw. Yeah. Like some like because yeah. yeah, we post a video and it's like some of our tame shit, and mm. then you see you know so many other creators doing something way worse with millions of views. Like like Houston Jones. Everyone always compares us to Houston Jones, this American guy who also does like science experiments where he just fully just fucking like brutalizes. He, he, he's like bloodied and bruised and fucked right. by the end and we talk to him and he's like 
He's only ever had one video removed and like barely yeah. gets him demonetized because he frames them as as educational. Like he'll have a, a thing, a right. screen that comes up. This is for educational purposes. It's like, it's not fucking education. He's just getting hit with shit, which is what we kind of do. Yeah. yeah. Well, ours is, we say it's for education. We say ours is for science. That's yeah. right. And they fucking still ringworm us. Yeah. Mm. So YouTube's been like, yeah, such a grind. And even TikTok now, like we fucking, we can't post any, like if I fucking, you know, pinch Michael, hey. they'll, they'll, they'll delete it. Just pinch him like that and they'll fucking delete it. Like it's just. How did that go? Like, hey. Just, like, no, just let me show him. Yeah. Oh, dude. Just I let fuck. me show him. No, I can't Grab take a bit hair. today. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting heat wave after heat wave. <laughs> Michael's sick. So I'm pretty sure, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty sure I have that C thing that everyone complains about. Spicy flu. And I'm, oh. and I still, I welcome the you guys. The old cock fucker yeah. problem. Hoping to spread it. <laughs> Thank you for inviting us to that. <laughs> <laughs> we probably should have mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Have another one. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. But hey, it's good for immunity. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And chlamydia. chlamydia? So, yeah. You didn't mention that. <laughs> Great. So what's like the um the long term plan with it? Like obviously now you're just fucking having a laugh, enjoying it. Like what do you what do you want to you just gonna be a content creator now full time? Yeah, so basically that's um, that's all I'm doing at the moment, and just dragging uh, him along with me until he falls off the perch, I suppose. Just try and <laughs> I don't know, just squeeze as much out of him till the as sleeping, we can. Till the sleeping bear finally cracks. <laughs> yeah, until yeah, you go on a murdering rampage. <laughs> he, he fucking did kill Paulie. <laughs> like, wake up to the news next week and it's like Paulie has been killed and Flopper's just eyes, his pupils are fully dilated, no whites in his eyes and he's just fully fucking lost it. And then raped him? <laughs> <laughs> and there's footage of it on the news. I can see that happen. <laughs> so what about? Well, you just don't know, do you? <laughs> <laughs> don't rule it out. <laughs> it's oh, good yeah. to have that threat lingering I, in the I, background. I don't know anything about <laughs> mental health. So I can't tell you whether I'm stable or not. It's your honour. <laughs> oh well, we'll see what happens in the future. I guess. We'll yeah, exactly. Do you, do you still have you, you still have a normal job, Flopper? No, I I am a painter. I oh, just yeah? haven't painted for a bit. I had surgery on the right arm, and they, was that Paulie's fault? No, actually, for a change, no. Yeah, right. <laughs> so yeah, they stuffed it up. I got to go and have surgery again on it. Well, they, oh, well, man. how'd they fuck it up? They leave a knife in there or something? Uh, they were supposed to shift the nerve and decided that uh, they try and do it without shifting it, and now it's like still there. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it's wow. from it's erratic. Still it's from erratic masturbating. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I've heard yeah, that. Matt oh. might starting in the beginning stages mm. of that. Oh, you are <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Oh wow! So they. But yeah. now she'll be all good once they do it properly. And mm. then you you reckon you'll hit back up painting? Not painting because my shoulders are gone as well. Maybe you could okay. do just like art, like just paint like canvases and shit. You yeah. could do. I'll do something. That kind yeah. of painting. Yeah, I'll do something. Oh wow! Hey. <laughs> how was um? How was Bali? We saw you went to Bali with the boys. Show yeah, the boys. Yeah, Bali was really good actually. How long were you there for? Like three weeks or something? Yeah, we were there for three weeks. Yeah, it was pretty full on. It was good. A lot of drinking. Yeah. What, well, drinking every drink day? drink every day? Most days. Wow. Most days, I, yeah, we had, I, I had a fair old crack anyway. Um, a Did few of them weren't interested, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was certainly interested. I, I took advantage of it. I still I, remember that one story. I forget who posted it of you coming out all fucked up with a beer in your hand. Oh, I'm never drinking again. <laughs> and then you crack <laughs> <take> the beer <laughs> and <stop. laughs> Dude, I'll still. I reckon this is one of the best videos I've ever seen is when you had a coffee in your hand and it was like 7 a.m. in the morning and you're oh, yeah. facing all these massive waves at the beach. Oh, yeah. And I think you're just strolling out to it, sipping on your coffee, <laughs> and then this wave just levels you. <laughs> and you just took it without any embrace. You just went bang, hit the deck, and then you just sort of rocked up to the shores. Yeah, that, that was, was commitment. That was in Coffs Harbour, the shoreys, and they, you, you could tell these waves are fucking heavy. Oh and, man! And I was just like, "Fuck this! I'm just gonna stroll straight out into it, into this fucking oncoming semi truck." It took me out fucking big time. <laughs> just <laughs> smacked me out. Then, mate, these motherfuckers 
had some force behind them. I think yeah. Austin was just pissing himself, wasn't yeah. he? He was losing it. Yeah. He <laughs> could contain good. himself. Any um any wild stories from Bali or is it <clears throat> or nothing you can tell? Um Oh <laughs> it was Did anyone fuck a lady boy? No, no. Oh, there, there, was, there, there, there was, there was, there was. Not too pissed to know. <laughs> there was talk. I was actually a little bit disappointed because well, I fucking love looking at lady boys. They just freak me out. Like they're just like I don't know what it is, but I, I, I like I like to look at them. But it just gives me the fucking. Yeah. Like, they just freak me the fuck out. But there wasn't many. There was. We had to go to a lady club joint. But I will, I will say that like. There was this one lady boy and like I was standing behind her on camera, like grabbing her tits and shit. And then the other one, she had the hots for me. I don't know if you've seen on my story. I saw on a story JJ, a picture with her? Yeah, JJ put who? it up. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh, come on. <laughs> anyway. You're a sicko. I'm I'm hugging her, I'm hugging her, grabbing her tits and shit. And Him. this this his tits. Oh fucking hell. <laughs> and this and this and this other chick with a cock <laughs> has has got my like bloke. grabbing my cock from underneath. <laughs> like I'm just like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Yeah, well. Anyway, after I fucked him, he, <laughs> 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 oh, he might be pregnant. Oh great. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be rich if he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly oh. not for me. Bit of coin to be made there. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, well there hell. you go. So that was any like like did there's any fights? You, you said you got your wallet stolen? Got my wallet stolen. Did I'm you, not too sure how that happened. Yeah, okay. They just pickpocket you real quick. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've I've every time I've gone to Thailand or Bali, I get robbed every single time. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, yeah, next time I go, I'm just going to have like, I'm just going to get one of those fucking gay little bum bags and just fucking carry nothing but the bare minimum with me and just bring a shit phone. Yeah. yeah. Because fuck me. Well, when I, when I went out, I'd take like the set amount of money that I was willing to spend and just have it in my pocket. Yeah. I wouldn't have any like wallet or cards. 100%. And then yep. you just, if you lose your cash. But then you, you get, like, because then I stress like. Like I want my phone in case something fucking cool happens to film. Oh, actually, well, yeah. yeah, I'd have my phone, but you had the mistake of having it out on like a like a moped. I'd always have it in your pocket. Yeah, like but like I'm pocket. looking at the GPS. I need to know where I'm going. Yeah, I just can't let just... that li let the little man take care of That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, how I didn't yeah, lose true. my phone it is just beyond me. I'll give it to Jaden Gilfillan. He. He was fucking my dad for the <laughs> other days. I so that he did tell me we were at Finn's. And um, I was walking along the side of the pool and he reckons I fell in. So he got me back out. Then I will walk along and then he goes, I fell back in. He said that he watched me like drop in the water and he's like, fuck, he'll get up. Anyway, he's watched me like take my last few breaths and just sink to the <laughs> bottom of the pool. And he's Whoa. like, yeah. Val Valiums? Well, yeah, we did. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> They, you, you just can't operate when you no. mix it with the alcohol. He oh, fell yeah. in a drain and almost split, like you know, lost his two front you, teeth. You know, in ba in Bali, they I don't know if you saw, like on the sides of the road, they'll just have huge holes mm. on the sides of the road. And we were f like, we'd had a bunch of vowels. vowels and heaps of drinks and we were heading out. And like, we were literally swaying from one side of the road to the other and then- you Couldn't balance. It and was so fucked. I just fucking fell down this hole and hit my- face on the other edge of the hole just above my teeth literally yeah. right a centimetre All above my here. teeth Fuck. so like, I was like a oh. centimetre away from losing my front teeth so that, that's what happened to you I always wondered yeah <laughs> that's, that's what it was yeah Yeah. no I was in the 7-Eleven came out with beers and I just hear this Michael Michael help and I'm like I couldn't see him and then I would go to this <laughs> hole and he's just like I fucked up man something's up with my mouth and I pull him out and oh he looked like shit <laughs> Like, yeah, it's, bad. Then, it's a crazy time over there. I do remember this other morning. Mm. I wake up and I'm just like, fuck. I remember going to Mexicola and like, it's crazy. Like, if you haven't been there before, everyone rides a scooter out. Everyone rides a scooter out. Every green light's the start of a new race. It's fucking yeah. cars going hectic <laughs> everywhere. It's fucking off its head. Anyway, so I rolled into Mexicola, parked the scooter <coughs> up, had a crazy night, wake up in the morning. And I've got my, I'm like, fuck, how the fuck did I even get home? And I've got my scooter key in my pocket. I open my phone. There's a message from like this Balinese dude that I met that night. And I vaguely remember, like he was a cool cat and he's got this video of me like 
he's taken me out for dinner that night, like with a few of his mates and like, I'm just like munging into this feed. And he's like, if you, if I'm not too sure if you remember, but your scooter's parked at Mexicola. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh, sorry, not at Mexicola, at red carpet. Anyway, so I've Googled um, red carpet and it's like fucking ages away. And I'm like, how the fuck did I even get this bike here? <laughs> like anyway, we rolled in to pick up the bike. Had a massive argument with the guy behind the fucking boom gate. We, we have got no money on us. We're trying to get this fucking bike out. We ended up going to get some money out and fucking... But yeah, how I even got the bike there. Yeah. Do you reckon it was me. seized? Because maybe you like left it at somewhere you shouldn't have and it's just been taken there? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Because it sounds like if you got to pay to get it out, like you've left it in the wrong place at the wrong yeah. time. It's in the middle of the road yeah, or something. Well, yeah, you've definitely got to pay to get it in there. But anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Well. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, man. That's the thing. Valiums and alcohol, blackout central. Yeah. It's really and it really sneaks up on you. It's a kind of like mix that you think you you're, think you're okay. fine, and, and then, then you wake up in the morning. Well, not even that. Just even just during it, you just like what happened an hour ago. What happened? Mm, an hour you're just that? so fucked, but you don't realize you're that fucked. It's it's very strange mix. Yeah, yeah. it's highly a, highly recommend it. But it is fun. Yeah. It's fucking fun <laughs> in a safe environment. Probably not a good idea to go drink driving on it. I don't know if it's safe or fun. No, no. <laughs> well, I reckon if you're say if you're maybe don't be around a pool either because you might sink to the bottom. <laughs> but um, like if you're in a safe like. If, like environment like a, a house where you stay in at the house and all the boys just have a few vowels and alcohol then yeah it, as long as you're not going out no I disagree do you remember that time we took like five each at once and then we it was just you and me in our house and then like oh, boom yeah. two hours went by of complete I don't know what we did or what happened and I just came to standing upstairs I was upstairs now looking at myself in the mirror and that's when I when I realised I was like what the fuck and I came downstairs Michael's passed out downstairs and I looked at my phone and I'd remember I'd sent all these fucking weird messages trying to, to people trying to line up a fight trying I to think, yeah. tee up a fight <laughs> <laughs> it's not safe. Yeah. Ever. Actually, it's probably not a great idea. Vowels you stick to by themselves and alcohol stick to it by itself. But hey, like if you can have maybe one or two. Yeah. Maybe just three. One or two. Just to relax the muscles. Just, yeah, I'm just a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. Five at once. Five at once and then like a few shots to this wash, wash it down with. And yeah, I just woke up. I was on like the floorboards, just face up. Marty wakes me up. I'm like, what happened? He's like, dude, I've just teed up like some boxing matches with some other influencers. I was like, what? No memory, right yeah, no, no memory of it. No memory of it. And I'm like, like messaging people like, like, I'm, like we never, I never care about that. Or never. This is like even before boxing was a thing. YouTube boxing was a thing. Yeah, very weird. I can't yeah. even weird. keep my eyes open, let alone send a fucking text yeah. message. Yeah. Or yeah. Line, fucking, you <laughs> lined up a fight. It must have been all the bag <laughs> bad, bad we had before the vows that kept me awake. Oh, dude. And then, and yeah, like, I, the, remember when we were in Bali, the same place, and I'd pop so many that I started passing out and you started calling me, you're being silly. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. And he's just pouring all this water on me and I'm just waking up, please stop, stop, stop. And then I wake up like the next day and there's all this footage of him just pouring bottle after bottle on my face. Yeah, that's how I can get you to that state without yeah. getting you to drink, actually. I might start spiking you with Valium again. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Looking oh. forward to it. <laughs> Yeah, oh, so what's it like flopping? What what did you think when Paulie first started fucking making these vids? Were you like, "What are you doing? You fucking cunt! Go get a fucking real job, you fucking cunt!" Yeah, no, I was I was more thinking, um, "This better stop." <laughs> <laughs> Were you like, this "What have I? Stop. How have I? Like, what have I done to this kid? Have I just I need to take this guy kid to to a doctor to get him disciplined." Um, yeah, <laughs> and he gets you something wrong with him. Yeah, yeah. Well, so you were fully like, you couldn't understand it. You were like, tr you know, tried to talk him out of it, all that. Well, you just it's rack happened. your bra brain out trying to work out how he thinks it's funny at first. <laughs> um, you know, you just don't see the funny side of these yeah. things. Um, but obviously, people do. Yeah, uh, no, just not the one on the funny. other end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how how it really all come about um, originally that we that well, I started filming it was that um, I had this crazy truck driver Kevin. Well, 
I would film him at work just blowing up all the time. Anyway, he um he had an accident. Uh, he's all right, by the way. But uh, he was fucking funny. Like he he'd blow up. I'd go and like hide in his truck. Away. I went and grabbed his ticket <clears> from the way bridge, or you know, I'd do something with with his truck with the loader, and he'd just fucking blow up. Anyway, so <laughs> he, he was he he was like my main like who I posted on TikTok. And um, yeah, so there was no more of him. <coughs> and I thought, fucking hell, I need to start harassing some other cunt. <laughs> and that other cunt <laughs> oh, was, was, was him. And I was like, you know what, cunt? You're my fucking next victim. <laughs> Have you boys had some like loose, loose, like since posting vids and having nights out? Has there been some loose parties together or loose opportunities of just mayhem that's come about? For him? Not for me. I'm a, li- I'm a little bit beyond that. Okay, so you're not much of a, a volume and a volume and drinker. <laughs> nah, no, nah, we'll have a drink. Yeah, okay. no, we've, we've dragged him out a few times. I've been out a couple of times, but it's not a regular thing for me. Mem- yeah, remember okay. that? Remember that um, guy that was trying to get you to kiss his missus? Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> Did you? Oh. <laughs> so tell the story. What actually ended up happening? You fucked I'm up. An, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Is this guy, she is an absolute doll. And not a fuck doll thing, either, by next, the way. <laughs> next thing you know, he's wrapped around her. <laughs> <laughs> and someone else is passionate. <laughs> and I'm standing there, I'm thinking, Jesus Christ. I might have a turn. I wouldn't mind the girl that. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, her boyfriend looks at me and goes, You wanna give me girlfriend a kiss? And normal me would just dive straight in but i was in shock i just like it just fucked me <laughs> it's just one of those unexpected things where I, I fucking froze too long and it was too late when i thought hey hang on what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't kiss her no so you don't have a miso no no okay. not one no <laughs> <laughs> what about old Jan across the road <clears throat> yeah, old, yeah old Jan she's alright <laughs> <laughs> Jan if you're listening next time you see Paulie go up to him and kiss him because he's wanting it bad yeah. <laughs> propose to him no Jan yeah. it's okay <laughs> <laughs> oh wow uh, so what was um what was Paulie like at school like was he a fucking little menace as well shit little shit <laughs> getting in trouble all the time Yep. What yep. was the what what's what's the worst thing he did at school that people don't know about? <laughs> oh, look. Whether he just didn't tell me and the teachers didn't tell me because it was that bad. Um, the only thing I remember was that he uh, belted someone. <laughs> but um, as I told the teacher when they called me in, um, I told him to. <laughs> <laughs> I said, it's my fault because oh, really? there was someone having a you know a little bit of a dig picking on him, and uh, I told him I gave him the knife. <laughs> I gave him the go ahead. Yeah. You're Mate. better off. And then he didn't bully being, him again. You're better off being in trouble for belting someone than coming home crying because you're being picked on. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. My yeah. biggest some advice so every kid out he there. He belted him. That was the end of it. Yeah. Attack anyone who <laughs> disrespects you. <laughs> Hurt them. Now, Maim them. So the old eye for an eye. You know, people don't believe in it, but I do. <laughs> 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 and look, so does, so does society and everybody yeah. on the planet. Because why do we have jails? Yeah. You do something wrong, you get punished. Yeah, yeah. Wow, what's the difference? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. No, yeah, I know I agree. I cause Esther, when Esther comes home and says, you know, oh, this boy slapped me on the butt, my eight year old stepdaughter, I tell her to like fuck telling the teacher yes. to stand up for a Whack him. Yeah. That's it. Punch Whack him. him. Punch him as hard well, as she can. You gotta do what works. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. <laughs> Have you told there the you boys go. how you got your nickname? Yeah, that's right. How the fuck did you get called <laughs> Flopper from Phil? Phil's your real name, isn't it? We say that? Do you want us to say it, Phil? Yeah. Is that allowed? Yeah. Well, is it actually it's your a, real it's, name? It, it's a long... Philip. 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 Philip or Phil? It's a long story. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Many moons ago. 
I think what he's insinuating is <laughs> that he's oh, got a large dick. cock. Oh, 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 right, 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 right. So I like to leave it to people's imagination. Okay. Oh, well, uh, fuck that. Let, let's have a look. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you, let's all get our dicks out and have a look. Do you want to feel insignificant <laughs> for the rest of your life? Let's <laughs> dot <laughs> off. I'm all, right with, I'm all right with having just an average size penis, but like I'll, I'll happily look at a massive cock. <laughs> <laughs> What's your thing that you do? <laughs> oh, well, there you go. We once knew a guy who's oh, like, wow, yeah, he's fucking tiny guy, like, it's like real short. Imagine God with all your stats put nothing into his personality or intelligence, or anything looks like just build social skills, just then, a fucking like just a. Feel the length of and thickness of his dick up to full. Yeah, like, but as much so, as the, it's like a, it's like, a I'm curse. Not, I'm not even kidding. Like he's like honestly, like, like maybe that big. Like he's just just a really small skinny guy, right? Strange and and very very weird guy. Always wore like suits and shit. And anyway, he had like because Michael and I briefly when we were super poor, living in a little share house, he would live there sometimes with us. And he'd come downstairs wearing boxer shorts and the tip of his dick would be sticking out <laughs> out of the boxer shorts. And I'm like, dude, go put some fucking pants on. I can see your dick. And it got to a stage, it was just so shocking because you wouldn't expect to looking at him that whenever we had friends over and shit or in any was, social, um, yeah. social occasion, we'd peer pressure me in because I, I just wanted people to see. It was just <laughs> shocking. It's like fucking this long. Flop. He couldn't get hard. Like yeah, it, it, was it was too big really? to get hard. Because so, there's, there's not enough blood in his body. He would have yeah. fucking fainted have to fainted. try and get it hard. Yeah, 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 we yeah. tried. We gave him Viagra, all his shit. Yeah. He could only ever get like. So imagine that, being cursed with such yeah, a no, massive I'll, dick I'll, but I'll it's get, always floppy. I get dizzy when I bar up. <laughs> 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 he can relate. <laughs> Well, yeah, like we'd always have to pressure him. Like it'd take like a few times, but then like fine, and then he'd get it out, and, and everyone then, would just be shocked. I remember when we did the slow mo camera on him doing the windmill? Oh, that's right. Yeah, that thing is just—it was shocking. Mm. I'd hate to have too big of a dick. Yeah, right? same here. Some like, women just run; they're scared of it. When you look up porn too, like personally, me, I want to see the whole penis go all the way inside the vagina, not just like <clears> the tiny tear. I just. Skip past that. Yeah. I couldn't imagine how shit it'd feel for him. Yeah, I don't know why porn stars always, why why they what's liked to have such a big dick in porn mm. because it's not relatable. It's not I'm your average sure guy. He, he didn't get his partner. They wouldn't have sex together. Yeah, well, his partner was like asexual yeah, or some weird that, shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, guys. <laughs> You don't like sex, you're weird. <laughs> no, but she was like, like, what there was, there was some strange. word for there it. Wasn't there was that, some that was word strange, for it. But there was something, there was a lot of things strange about that whole dynamic, if yeah. we were honest. But yeah, for very entertaining and very, uh, a great little side freak that we'd show off to anyone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah very good. But um, anyway, um, we've got a secret little um, liquid here. Um, now, Flop has no this idea what this is. This is where I shit so, myself. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna give what you. Well, you've got three guesses, right? If you can guess it right, we'll give you. You can keep that outfit. Oh wow! Shit right. on. Ah. Now you get two verbal guesses. Then after the two verbal guesses, oh. you can have a smell, which will help, <laughs> which will help you determine what it is. Okay. All right, so is I'm currently I'm currently holding you all. Everyone listening, you all know what liquid I'm holding here, right? We're holding the liquid, liquid that sits on the set for those listening on Spotify. All right, so so as you can see, it's a kind of like a whitey color. Is it one ingredient? It is one ingredient. Righto. All right, so what's your first guess? Pineapple juice. No, you're oh, wrong. Wow. All right, you got one more guess, and then you can have one smell. Cut the bottom. Sediment. Yeah, there's a bit of that at the bottom. And it's been here for about six months. Fuck. Ginger. <laughs> We're getting closer. That's a little bit closer. All right. Now open it up and have a sniff. Go on. You're and, right. And you then you it. can give us your final guess. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me! Put the lid back on. <laughs> Fuck! Oh god! 
That's definitely piss. <laughs> Human fucking piss. It's a cow piss. It's a cow piss. The man standing behind you <laughs> has been coming in that bottle for over <laughs> six months. Actually, it's been longer. Mincing. It's been a year. <laughs> <laughs> load after load. Uh, you know, just like a doctor. It does. It smells like corpse with a bit of fart. It's like a fart mixed with a dead body. <laughs> It's you need to see it's a gynecologist and have your it's ass checked. The thing is, it must have come out your ass. It does fine. smell like so fun. When he gets fucked, months, it does. The first three months are fine. Oh, no man. Smell. And then it's like they all die. <laughs> so that is a... That is a bottle of ejaculate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just had a whiff of, mate. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. mm. I'm going to fucking have nightmares. You've smelt load. <laughs> fucking stale spoof. <laughs> I told you before we came here that these guys are fucking crazy. You're guessing ginger. <laughs> yeah, lemon, ginger and piss. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I guess it's sort of all that combined in some. Oh, fight. I get it, to be fair, it does look like like ginger juice or something, but no, yeah, it is. Um, that is straight from <laughs> Matt, <laughs> straight from Matt's sack. I'd get your sacks checked out. That's fucked up. Got brown shit in the bottom of it. Clump. Clump at the brown bottom. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, clump. <laughs> Fuck, like, where's, your, where's your old fella been? Fucking shooting brown shit out. <laughs> it's mince. Fuck. It's because his last name's Brown. I think he, come, <laughs> he was in Bali with those lady boys, I think. Oh, oh, oh. hell. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. That was very good. All right. That's, that was a pleasure. I, I can... It's... It's like it's still under my nose. <laughs> yeah, it fucks the room up for a while. Stuck to me nose hairs. <laughs> oh, imagine if we told him to have a swig. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. I think it would be around his mouth. <laughs> oh, he gets baked on. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. Oh, very yeah. good. All right, so <laughs> fucking hell. All right, boys. So you're, you're pumping out your own shit now. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. What are you on now on TikTok? You're fucking flying on there too, eh? Oh, I think it's around 300 and something. I haven't really I haven't really put too much work into it because every time I post a video they just take it down. Oh, okay, yeah, same problem for but, you. But um then, yeah. on uh on Facebook we're floating around four, close to 400,000. Yeah, fuck yeah. That's that's um coming up good. It was only like this time or well, less than a year ago that you're in 100k. Yeah. So it's going exponential. Yeah, it's it's got, it's and your views are huge. Yeah, the views are going really good. Yeah, fucking I thought. Really are. good. So well, good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and then, yeah, YouTube, I don't know. I just, I, we, we started vlogging. We started doing a little bit of vlogging, which was fun and funny. Um, and yeah, I, yeah, I just. A I lot think, of footage to go through. A eh? lot of footage to go through and I need some, need some help. Need some help. Mm. Need some help with like. You should get know. into YouTube Shorts too. People have been growing yeah. their channels to fucking like a couple of hundred k just from posting their shorts, and your shit would do all right. Really, on shorts, right? Mm. 100%. We, we've done that now because we fully like plateaued because our shit would just get you know demonetized or doesn't mm. get shown to anyone. And then we started doing shorts at the start of this year, and we've grown like 40, 50 k. Yeah, again. sick. Right yeah, so. I might look into that. But yeah, um, well, thanks heaps for coming on, boys. Yeah, Fucking Paulie and Flopper, worries. very, very funny content, guys. Make sure you look them, look them up on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube eventually, and of course TikTok. They're pumping out a shitload of content, and it's Thank way you. better than ours. So unfollow us and stop watching what we do, <laughs> and go and watch what they do. That is not even a fucking joke, cunt. <laughs> yeah, no, we support that. Thank All right, you, boys. boys. Thanks heaps Thank for coming you. on. Oh, do we get oh, our gift? Oh, hang on, yeah, oh, oh, we a fucking gift for us. Yes. I baked. Well, I hope you got a sweet tooth. Do I you do. want to um, fucking um, have before, a massive sweet tooth before? I think because you guys want to film our reaction. Should we get yeah. James in? Yeah, that'd be great. Oh hey. yeah, yeah, true. Yep. <coughs> James. All right, oh. let's fucking see what it is. So it's edible, something edible. Well, it's homemade, so hopefully you'll like it. You guys haven't fucking done anything to it though, because yeah, I've seen a lot of your fucking, fucking videos. Well, you won't know until you taste oh, it. I bet you it's fucking oh, chilly. No. I'm not touching shit. <laughs> no. I don't know if it's up. No, no, it's safe. Hopefully it's, safe. it's not. Have you okay. ringwormed right. in it? No, um, okay. we haven't spoiled it. Honestly, I'd, pref <laughs> I'd prefer if you'd 
done that over any chili. We hate chili. <coughs> nah, 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 nah. nah. You're safe. You're safe. All right. Well, that's it's very nicely yep. wrapped. Who wrapped it? Well, Flappy did wrap oh, it. I roughly wrapped it, but oh, anyway. Well, thank you very much. All the best. Thank you for having us. And um, no, it's our absolute pleasure, boys. What are you fucking jumping? I don't at? know. I've just got the shakes. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. It's, it's all good. Why? Why is wine. it in a wooden box? Is it wine? I don't believe in Tupperware, and I had nothing to put it in. I love wine. Not There's really. something fucking in here. Is it? Is it? Heavy? It's a in fucking there. bomb. Have you guys? <laughs> <Is> it- <laughs> anthrax. Oh, finally, <laughs> someone's brought us anthrax. <laughs> oh no, dude! I it's really don't want to open it. Do you want to open it? No, it's it's going to spit at you. Brown, will you? Open I don't want to fucking open it. Hey, uh, Matt, you gonna open it? I feel like it's going to be an explosion or something. No. I have a feeling something's going to happen. It's, it's innocent. It's not okay. living? No, no it's dude, innocent. This isn't, Imagine dude, a I'm not fucking. I don't want to snake. open this. Put your ear to it. Paper, scissors, yeah. rock. Paper, scissors, rock, so you open it. We're a little offended. You can eat it. Yeah, Seize. what if it is lollies? We're going to feel so bad. Yeah, that's no, it. No, it's scary. It's their fucking flopper and poly. It's not going to be good. It's yeah, nice. That's so true. Scissors, scissors, paper, paper rock. rock. Shit! <laughs> shit! <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm going to open it towards you, it though. Is, yeah. Oh. No! <laughs> Don't fucking open it at me. Oh, my God. I thought it was a fucking mouse. You got him on the head. I thought it was a fucking mouse. What is that? Is that alive? Nah, it's like a little... Is it like a fishing lure thing in Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. damn it. There's no lollies. You should have used a real one. Dude, that was fucked up. I know. Yeah. A live yabby. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's Flapper's creation. He actually made that. We're going to fucking... You should make merch for these. Like, sell them as little gifts. We're going to um, fuck everyone. Let's get the boys with it too later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They'll 100% fall for that. Yeah. We'll like name All you it, do is the card just on it. put a bit of tape across the top with lollies. Mix lollies written on it. Oh, yeah. Or so no, go straight yeah. for yeah. it. Ping is, yeah. Ping is right there. I give that to JJ the other day and he fucking threw it that far. <laughs> I didn't film it. He's like, why didn't you film it? I was like, well, if I had the camera out, you're not going to fucking open it, are you? Yeah, that's <laughs> true, true. Oh, wow. Oh, well, thank you very much, boys. That's bloody lovely. We're going to fucking yeah. see if we can give some cunts a heart attack with it, cunt. Yeah. yeah. That's the plan. Ah, <laughs> uh, Flopper wants it back. <laughs> I can make another one. Oh, yeah, he's going to have a bag of his one. Nah. No. No. We're keeping it now. <laughs> All right, boys. Thanks well, for fucking us, hey. no cheers worries. for coming on, and um, thank you for having us. Good luck with all the vids and shit, thank and um, let's bloody let's film some shit soon. We'll, yeah, no we'll come to the coast. We'll film some shit. We can fucking film some crazy shit here. We, there's a missing person around here, so we can go try <laughs> find him for a vlog. That. Actually, yeah. that's what we should probably. Oh, we're busy this week. No worries, no guys. Worries. Thanks for Thank coming. You. We're gonna have a quick bong break, and we're right back with <laughs> Matt versus Michael. You can. <laughs> And this is a segment where Michael and Matt go head to head in varying tasks to see who the better man is overall. And whoever wins the most by the end of the season gets to keep Matt's bottle of freshly churned mints to do with whatever he wants. You guys excited or nervous? I'm so drain. (laughs) Drain. Well, that's not going to help you for this one because today we find out who's the fastest sprinter. Who can make the other laugh the fastest? Fastest, fastest, fastest. Oh, so, wow. you will take it in turns to sit straight faced and the other one has one minute to try and make you laugh. If you laugh, I stop the timer. If you smile, actually, I stop the timer. You must stay completely straight faced. A smile is all that is needed. Usually a laugh might take a while. A smile, come on, that ain't nothing. All right, paper, Fuck. scissors, rock to see. This is okay. Fuck. Okay. You should have the advantage here. I've got, I'm blank. Drain yeah. blank. All right. 
Scissors, paper, rock. Yes, you will be going first. <laughs> so I just got to make him laugh. Just make him smile. That's it. All you got to do is make him smile, man. You need to walk. What? He needs to watch. He has to watch. So you, you need to watch him as well, because if yeah, I get yeah, the little yeah, smile, yeah, I'll be watching him. I'll be impressed if I get the littlest smile out of him. Yeah, he's very good at holding a blank but face. He, but he has had a bit of weed, and it's just a smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a smile. <laughs> All right. You have to make eye contact with him to be like fair yeah, tear. Yeah. No, yeah. You, well, you can stand too, Matt, if you want. You can stand and and do do something. Sorry. I feel like you should stand. You have more. He's still variety. thinking about what he's going to do. I've already got mine laid out in my <sighs> brain. I've got sets of this for days. So many cords attached to me. Yeah, just take the headphones off and you'll be okay. His outfit alone nearly warrants a smile. Yeah, I've got to like go to a dead place in the back of my childhood here. Because he's going to be high, Matt. So you need to bring him back to this reality. <laughs> you need to bring him back to this reality and you need to make him laugh. Wait. Fuck, One minute. But when I start crack. the timer. Yeah, yeah, I will be. I will be. All right. I'm going to, do you want me to count you in? All right, three, two, one. I've run out of all my material and you ruined it. Stand up and do something. If you, if you move oh, your body in a I funny way, him. he will laugh. Move your body him. in a funny way. No, you can't touch him. Move your body in a funny way. Move your body in a funny way, dude. Let me do that. Make a strange sound. He loves sounds and shit. No, no, like move your body. You're just showing him your ass. That's not going to make him... Matt, move your... Do something erratic. Nah, I've lost it. You, you, you ruined it for me. Oh my god! Here you comes speaking the blaming. ruins everything. All right, here we go. Michael's turn. <laughs> made me sad. Three. Okay. Two. One. <laughs> okay, watch this. Check this out. <laughs> I may be half human. But I'm all woman. Okay, wait. Okay. <laughs> Pikachu. P <laughs> That's pretty good. Pika Pikachu. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Oh, he is good. No laughing. Well, he's annoyed at me. That's why it was easy for him to not <laughs> smile. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. holy shit, dude! That was. How did you not laugh at that? Yeah, that was some good shit when you did the hand <laughs> thing. That had me. What was the hand was, thing again? Was, hand, you had one thing there, nearly. Got, oh, the Pikachu. That nearly got me. <laughs> I had to hold off. Yeah, fuck. Pikachu. All right, guys, it's a draw this week. A disappointing draw. And um, we're going to give them both a point for that. And wow. so now the score. Do you have to give you have to give a points, don't you? Because then. Yeah. So now the score is, um, it was 11-7. So now it's 12-8. 12-8 to Michael, everyone. Holy shit. Is that going to make the scores weird at the end? Or that'll oh. be right? We'll figure it out as we go. As long as there's a winner. Uh... All yeah. right. Oh, man. That was fucking... How did... Yeah. I don't know how you didn't laugh at that, eh? Yeah, You're was, very was good. Crazy. You, you should be an actor. No, uh, what's close? T I N D R, we have Matt's Tinder. Ha, ha, ha. Matthew Brown has lost control. Now these women will lose their souls. <laughs> now. Oh, yes. Here we go. Now. This morning. I swear I sent you the number, man. I don't know. I don't think you did. Have you oh, been fuck, messaging? I don't think I did. No. Holy oh. shit. I was too surprised showing everyone the work that I'd done. <laughs> because so we'll just read it. This, this girl. Uh, yeah, I will. Yeah. But this girl is quite um, attractive. And um, uh, like even just everyone, I showed it to like James and Michael. Like, oh, actually like try with her. Like you should actually try. And I didn't. I didn't at all. <laughs> But the even cooler thing is she handles it so well 
that she's it's like actually like kind of impressive so that's a test to see now that she's got a sick uh, personality dude, you can be yourself no matter what because the very worst version of you she's already accepted so she's girlfriend material yeah maybe i don't know do you find her has she has she seen her yet i yeah. saw a brief what do you think of this beauty i haven't i can't remember but is she pretty oh she's brown. quite pretty yeah she's quite uh-huh. pretty Brown, everyone's imagine it's about inside their soul too. Once you get to know her, you'll find even more attractive. Exactly, it's un- do all we, about that. Have we push the button. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about like um, <laughs> getting to know their soul and getting to know who they're really about. And this is a conversation you had. What are you looking at? <laughs> I am looking for long term and stable relationship. How about you? I'm looking for a hole to mince up. Could be keen for commitment down the track, but when's your rags? Oh my god! Is dude. that how you started it? Yeah, yeah, and she did not reply. Oh, so it oh. is so far. No, no, that was a completely different. Oh, yeah. I thought that was the one, the girl he's talking oh, about. No, 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 no. Dude, I thought oh. that was that. The whole Sorry, yeah, that must have been confusing. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn, that would actually have been even funnier if I did that. <laughs> made it out like I've made such progress on it. Too much. Sure, it comes off like that. We thought that you were saying that. <laughs> oh my god, that's it. Anyway, um, all right. Oh, very yeah, good. Yeah, I'll get to that one. I'll let you guys know when it's that one. Yeah, we're wow, close up to that, Connor. That's hot. That's what Matt's asking girls to do in the mirror. <laughs> anyway. Um, Hi Matt Do you live in Browns Plains too? Oh Yep I've actually seen you At the shops <laughs> When I saw you I thought to myself Holy shit This bitch is hot as fuck She better be Fucking single cunt Or I'll snip my fingers Off with tin snips <laughs> Oh I'll buy it When did you see me? What shops? I saw you at Browns Plains Plaza A few weeks ago I think I followed you around For a while And thought you noticed me A few times <sighs> You threw something In the bin And I scuttled over And grabbed it out <laughs> It was a napkin Or some food Some scraps I sniffed it eagerly <laughs> It was hectic What were you doing there? She didn't write back? No she hasn't written back yet <laughs> oh, oh my god dude, That is so intense That is so intense To receive yeah. She would Hopefully she didn't go to oh, Brown's Plains That's not Imagine good if she lived in Brown's Plains <laughs> She's like yeah alright I'll she- buy it I'll, I'll see where this goes And then she got that Oh man I pray I hope that she does She's probably reply. always Always looking over her shoulder now when she oh, 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 oh. I probably got reported That's if she lives in Brown's Plains <laughs> Maybe she gets the sarcasm And thinks you're a number one stand up dude Imagine if Matt got arrested <laughs> <laughs> the cops just rocked up and arrested Well, it's him. not under my email. Whose email is it under? I think your email. Uh, so Michael Mark might get arrested. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I'll take 100% for for If any, there's ever any legal issues, that's on me. I'll take it. And you can take that to the bank, cunt. What legal issues could that be? <laughs> I'm worried. You might be going to jail, Brown. Like sexual uh, harassment or something. Yeah, we never really... But I don't... I steer away from that. No, we steer away from that. You're just enjoying her rubbish. I don't Free. Feel Once she's discarded of it, anyway. you are allowed to have that. If she puts it in the bin, it's like some man's treasure or trash is to someone other's treasure. treasure. So there you go. That was your treasure and her trash. Sorry. She's the one. All right. Here we go. So she starts this conversation. A lot of that going on lately. Them starting the convos. Hey, how are you doing for a Tuesday? Not too fucking shabby, sweetheart. Two more days till the weekend and then I'm fucking getting on it. <laughs> Gonna be blind until Monday morning. <laughs> what are you up to? Haha, <laughs> what's the occasion? Or well, simply just the weekend? I'm actually going out drinking this weekend, which I don't do too often, so that should be good. And then I replied today, this, like... Midday Monday. <coughs> oh, just waking up now. <laughs> Holy shit, that was a fucking hectic weekend. Friday night, I just got a carton on my way home from work and literally just sat on the couch and on my own and sunk the whole thing. <laughs> Hung over as Mel Gibson on Saturday, so I started having rumbos and then ended up getting a bag and watched the footy. <laughs> Dusted a whole bottle of rum off, I fucking spewed everywhere. <laughs> Didn't really sleep and then Sunday I had a boozy breakfast and went and saw my mate Nathan and we just smoked some crack and I ended up having another carton of bourbon and cokes. Just woke up, Dan. How's your fucking weekend, cunt? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
You didn't get a reply to that, did you? Oh, well, that was this morning. <laughs> like, you oh. just like the previous message saying that you're going to go through to Monday. <laughs> You've committed to it and now sent the message. Oh, yeah. dude. Yeah, that worked out perfectly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like it's on no occasion either. Just gets that fucked up for three days. Because it's the weekend. Because it's the weekend. Oh. Dude, I, I, she has to reply because it's like it could be true. Just woke up at midday on Monday. Oh, who would oh. want to date that? Oh, oh dude. You'd be surprised. There's probably some yeah, beautiful girls some out there that would do that. Real surprise. No. Hey, Matt, did you have a good day? Did you have a good day? Sister got trampled by a horse. She trains them and one got spooked and bucked her off, then stomped on her skull. It's just a hairline fracture, but it's still pretty dangerous. How are you and shit? Jesus, is she okay? In hospital, I take it? That sucks and hope she has a speedy recovery. I'm good and shit. What's on for today? I'm good and shit. <laughs> yeah, she's in hospital. I got so angry I... <laughs> I got so angry at the horse, I fucking punched it as hard as I could in the face. Fully lost control. Yeah, I'm just in the hospital seeing my sister, but I think she'll be, <laughs> she'll be out this weekend. I've been sneaking some of her painkillers. Oh, this is so fun. Have you ever thought about what it would feel like to take someone's life? <laughs> Please tell me she replied. No, that was a Candace. Oh, dude. Whoa. This morning. <laughs> oh, dude. Like, just set the tone that you can get so aggro <laughs> that you're willing to hit a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine punching a horse dude. As hard as you can Man it'd be hard to knock it out I don't think you could Oh, man. Holy shit okay. Alright so wow. this Is the girl that I'm talking about Alright so she's sent her number She wants to go on a date with Matt's confirmed She, so she didn't kn say she wanted to go on a date She just gave a number Matt, it's look, look, Matt. You, you can't not be happy after this conversation, all right? Because she is a cool. She's I, cool. I didn't say I wasn't happy. Yes, yeah, so, without a doubt, this chick has a good sense of humor. Anyway, so she's you know quite good looking, and um, and the boys were like, "Oh, don't ruin this one, Marty. Don't ruin this one." So I started with, one. I started with, "Fuck my breath reeks right now." <laughs> How's your weekend? So I disregarded that and just went hard. And still, you wait and see now. <clears throat> Who are you sucking off on the weekend? Should probably get that checked. Is that what she said back? Yep. <laughs> Sucked Ooh. off my dead uncle by the smell of it. <laughs> Why are you so good looking and single? Fresh dead or newly? There's only a small difference that needs to be established. Single because guys keep sucking off their uncles. Yeah, he died in the bushfires a few years ago, so not fresh, but not completely decomposed. I would definitely stop sucking my uncle off if you would let me take you out on a date, but no guarantees I won't suck him off down the track. Oh, yummy. I love a good barbecue sausage. No wonder you were into it. Those are terms I could accept on a temporary basis. Anything past one date and you'll have to let me join in on the barbecue. So the uncle sucking. I didn't Three reply seconds. for a while. And then I saw how cool her responses were. So I said, hey, sorry for the slow replies. I've been busy breaking the world record for having the biggest dick. Oh my God. You did not <laughs> Girls think that's, that's hot, right? If they don't, then disregard. Oh, oh my God. Anyway, how's your weekend? Can I please have so your number? Cringe, please. I will disregard the big dick record. It's not about the size, it's how you use it. Clearly not as good a weekend as yours. No record setting on my end. And then she sent her number. Wow. So you have pretty much, you're in a long-term relationship. Shut up. It's that or long distance. <sighs> it's she, worth a text though, Matt, right? She lives, Surely. She lives in Perth. You don't even have to tell us. She does not this? live in Perth. No, she doesn't. As a lot, how about this? I lied to you. Okay. If if you don't even have to tell us how it's going, you just have to promise me that you're going to text her. You don't have to mention it again. We won't talk about it once on the podcast. All you have to do is message her. Why do I have to message her? Because it's good see for, what it's she's like, like. It's option. You, you, you got to move forward. Two steps forward, three steps back. Just to see what she's like. I'll think about it. All right, last one. Here we go. Um, I think I read the start of this one last week, but it's progressed nicely. 
Hey, nice to meet you. What's the plans today? You haven't met me yet, babe. You won't forget it when you do. Hi, I'm Matt Greg Brown. Uh. Today I'm meant to be having lunch with my wife, but I don't know if I could be fucked leaving the house. You? I know I haven't met you, met you, but I'm meeting you through here. Haha. <laughs> so does your wife n- know that you are on here? That's so true. I never thought of it like that. No, nah, she doesn't know yet. I'll probably tell her this week. You got a boyfriend or anything? <laughs> How long have you been here for? And I hope you do. She may not like the fact you're on a dating site, but at least she will know. And no, been separated for almost 12 months. And to be honest, I don't even know if I will date for a bit yet after what I experienced in the marriage. I'm more than happy to chat to you and be friends, but I will not do anything more as I, dis- as I respect your you having a wife. I'm not one to chop down another one's grass in all respects. I got on Tinder two weeks ago. Yeah, my marriage is dead. My wife, Crest, won't even kiss me anymore. It's been like this for over a year. I respect you respecting my bitch wife. How long were you married for? Oh, yep. I'll kiss you whenever you want. And that's not good. Clearly someone else is in the scene. I was married with him for 10 10 years, five years married. What? Would you... Sorry. I was with him for 10 years, five years married. Would you suck my balls whenever I wanted as well? (laughs) I've got three. I told my wife about Tinder. She was pretty upset, but then she went out and I stayed home and watched porn. Fuck, that's a long marriage. Do you still see him? I just found some Skittles on the ground. (laughs) (laughs) Haha, possibly. Oh, I'm glad you told her and oh, okay, so it was good. And yes, extremely long celebrating one year today without him or seeing him. So hopefully I'm drunk by the end. Hey, how... And then I didn't reply for a few days. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope things are okay. Hopefully talk soon. And then today... <clears throat> hey, baby. So sorry for the... <laughs> so sorry for the slow replies. My wife's been a real sick, slobby flab. Keeps, <laughs> keeps bitching at me to have a shower, even though I've already had one this week. Fuck, I just want to be with you. I want to grab your neck and shake it. <clears throat> Then touch your nose with the tip of my tongue and stare at your tits for hours. Is that so much to ask for? Mm. Oh my God. Hey, sorry late reply. I've been helping a friend. And what do you mean a slobby flab? Why whinge about having a shower? Don't you shower? <laughs> oh, I'm nothing special. I have a tummy that jiggles and stretch marks. Yeah, she's just got heaps of loose skin under her chin <laughs> and it flaps from side to side when she stomps around the house. She grabs it and stretches it out as far as she can because she knows it scares me. I definitely do shower, just like when I need to and shit. And that's an ongoing conversation. <laughs> I hated that whole conversation. <laughs> oh my God, dude. That whole conversation was so <laughs> fucked. <laughs> She thinks your wife has like this big flap of skin hanging under it. It's like, under it's like, like, in, like, like a rooster on Austin Powers when he gets liposuction. Yeah. <laughs> He's got like just loose skin over his or neck. Or like a fucking rooster or something. I'm oh my God, I'm shocked man. that she like doesn't care I'm married. Dude, yeah, she's like, she in one sentence she's like, oh, I respect you that you're married. And then the next she's like, oh, I'll kiss you whenever you want. Yeah, well, maybe because you made it clear that you're, she didn't love you anymore and you wanted to, like, leave her. Yeah, you did make that very clear, Matt. Oh, oh man. That slobby, was, like, slobby flab. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, she pulls it to scare him. I should chase it in my hand. Oh, very good. Oh. That was Well, look, there's a girl that you get to text now. So that's progression. And she's got the same sense of humor. I'm going to send you the number. Right she's now. open to threesomes with your crispy uncle. What? It is time for the cues and the... Oh, no. Nah, we're not doing the song Play anymore. the song, man. We have questions from your it. answers. Your questions are all our it's answers. Wrong. And the answers from your questions from the questions and your answers. These are answers for your questions and these answers for your questions and the questions and your answers. These are answers from your questions. And this is where we answer your questions that you've commented on the Mighty Michael for the actual YouTube channel and we answer the most liked questions first. Can I just take this opportunity to please ask you to like, comment and subscribe and also give us a five star review on Spotify. It really helps us. Really Have helps we us grown on Spotify yet? We nah, still 2.2. I keep, we keep remen- re- reminding people at the end we got to remember at the front. So too. now just 
go to our Spotify and click five star review. Yes, please. You may have to just go to the end of like a Spotify episode if you yeah, don't listen no, to no, it. On so you click, on an, you click on an episode, you skip like halfway through, and then you can give us a five star review. <laughs> It would be the best. It helps. It does help. And the subscribers on YouTube, of course, and we never make a fucking cent from YouTube. The only money we make is the sponsors. So please, please just like, comment, and subscribe. It's all that we ask for. And also, also help us out with the five-star review on Spotify. Yeah. Matt, close that <sighs> mouth. What are you suggesting? That you'll suck their dicks for five stars? Crispy on. Top question went to Matt Brown's Dirty Moot. <laughs> Whoa, what a name. Yeah. <laughs> Moot. Oh, I think it's a picture of me. Moot. Anyway. Um, okay. Um, people have asked this before, but it could have changed over time. Um, what's the most you guys have ever spent on a prank or video? Oh, man. Probably our most expensive that we both decided to pay for equally um, was the TV prank. The TV I, ad prank. He's wasted that much money. <laughs> Even you heard at the fucking charity event, he almost just lost a 7K. It was an adrenaline rush though. You oh. gotta give me that. Anyway. It's like, it's fun sticking your It's up there up. near our house deposit. And it's like, fuck dude, I need, I don't have, I've got to, oh. Yeah, Money, but like, look, we did agree a long time ago that, 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 w that we'd have no issues spending large amounts of money on videos, and um, I stuck true to that. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, that was by far the most expensive, and should we just tell them how much? I think it's that big a deal. I don't remember. I don't even know. It was $25,000, 25 grand for that, and um, I regret... Because you Sorry, can choose. Sorry, is that the like it, No, the TV they, like, late TV. at night, like 11? Yeah, yeah. The thing I regret the most is letting the guy talk into... He's like this old TV guy. He's like, no, no, trust me. Your money better spend if you like play it on the... In between nine... After 9 p.m. So not prime time. And on like the secondary channels, like seven mate and shit. And like at the time, I was like, there's no way this is true. And I argued against him for ages, but he finally convinced me he's like mate I guarantee you guarantee you, you're making a mistake so I was like okay I'll listen to you and I wanted just it to run like maybe five times because it's far more expensive at like 7.30pm I just want to run it like five times there so at least some fucking people will see it because I don't think anyone saw it on TV playing in one of those shitty secondary channels I think I'm not well, sure you and me Grandma sat there did. watching it for ages and it barely barely came on yeah so like oh there's mom massive waste um yeah what it proved with the tv ads and the billboard is is that social media is way oh. easier to get something out there to the Man. people rather than putting on a billboard it's important no one and, saw it and tv ads tv ads are dead like unless you use prime prime time spots no one fucking listens or watches ads as soon as a tv ad come on people just change the channel now they must pay hundreds of thousands to have it continuously come on oh you get man. the same ad over and over and over it's like the show i was hoping that we would get some marketing out of it you know at least but fuck is like, how it turns out it's like have you seen water rats in the 90s yeah, yeah. that tv show it's like that with blue healers Thanks, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Man, that was a good show. Next question is from Tim Mostre. Did you like Water Rats? Dude, I loved it. My parents I would put it on for me. hated that show. Mum always loved it. It's like Search and Rescue it. and they went down rocks. I Sorry. remember it. Rats. I remember the, like the... <laughs> you remember Water Rats? It's like Water Police. Anyway, they were after me for a while. Sorry. <laughs> Tim Mostre, uh, it's a um, question for the podcast. It's great to see the assistant Brown more often on the science experience and prank videos. Um, Matt, if you could leave the concrete tower for good and go full time um, as their lab assistant or co-host, would you ever do it? I don't know. It depends where I fit in. Imagine if Matt was just like, had the best Twitch set up and he just became like a full gamer and then was just podcast and gamer. That would be your dream. Oh, I don't know. And you had to spray paint your body gold every. every you were the golden. Twitch. You were the golden twitch. You were the golden goose. No, the golden twitch as opposed to the golden snitch. And you dressed up as the snitch from Harry Potter. Okay. Would you do that? <laughs> Maybe. And you have to learn how to speak other languages. 
Is this so I leave the concrete tower? That's what I'd have to do. Well, you could do that and the podcast. Man, I'd love to be go- like a golden snitch and just game. Dude, fucking being oh, a gamer would be so fun. Being a gamer would be like, holy shit, man, Brown. You know? Anyway, answer is um, yes, but I don't know where I fit in yet. Um, next question is from uh, Caleb Henry. Um, can you boys ever do a podcast while on mushrooms or acid? No. Yes. Fuck. Yes. No. Michael. Oh man, fuck. It's such a I shame don't... that you have you've you you know you know it's had too many bad experiences. Now you know. Okay, I think we've discussed this. If Brown does it, we'll do it. Oh, I'd do it, but I just don't think I'd last. Like if it's anything like the mushroom trip we had at um the boys trip, I just couldn't sit in the room. Would you do salvia or like DMT? I so think we've I think I'm more that. likely to do that. I think than do I, I think I want to get. I'd, I'd need a few beers before doing DMT. It really scares me. <laughs> oh, dude, you're not meant to do beers before DMT. I know, DMT. But, but I remember when the, when we did it the first time. That it's what it's literally the only reason I even attempted it was because I was a bit drunk. Yeah, we, so I wouldn't. I don't think I could say yes to doing it unless I had some liquid courage in me guts. Oh, man, that's the wrong way to go about it. But yeah, I can see what you're saying. Fine, fuck, I'll do it then. I, we said ten thousand likes. But yeah, I don't know. I'm 10,000 likes, we'll do DMT live on the podcast. Fuck. Will I get a heart attack or some shit? Dude. Probably. You'll just get a life of... Rev- oh, man. It, you'll come back different if you do it properly. You won't be the same forever. Now... Next question uh, is from Gyrex. Gyrex. Um, when are you guys going to invite it? When you guys invite a guest on for an episode, are you able to tell us who you'll have on so you can have questions before? Um, no, but we struggle with that. We can't do that because we're always a week ahead in our podcast. So, yeah, it's it's a little hard because if we put out that a guest is coming on and we promise, and then it has to get rescheduled or we're back out, it's going to be all over the place. It's falsify a hickler. Yeah. So um, yeah, but let's get some fans on tonight. Yeah, well, we are actually thinking about doing something soon. Come on in, boys. Oh, that's a poor joke. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't believe you from the beginning. Really? Are I you... thought we were doing really well. No, you we committed. committed. <laughs> we fucking committed. I was like, this is too much commitment. They even moved the bike. <laughs> How did you know we were lying? <laughs> could you not? I know. I saw James leave, before. <coughs> that was and I've got an eyesight to the. Always have an eyesight to the door. So I know, it, so I know what's coming. Anyway, there is no fans coming on today, but um, there will be. All right. Yes. Okay. Will there be? Yeah. All right. Oh, actually, because then we also have to give our address to people. Yeah. That's always a bit. We are going to have Pratty on soon, um, but it'll be over the phone. He's a he's a fan. Oh, we'll have to go to a neutral location and and do the fans there. Mm. Do them, have them. Um, next question is from Addison Leet. Um, instead of uh, Muru, are we able to get Michael to uh, watch and review the state of origin? Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> oh, man. You that'd did be like hard. watching state of origin last time, did you? You got cranky. <laughs> you got cranky and put hole in TV. <laughs> yeah, I guess I was a little out of line. Isn't that disrespectful, Matt? To, I would have been highly upset. To break someone's TV like that. Yeah, you just pay for it after. You've broken a lot of my things here and you've never paid for them. Like what? His hymen? My chairs. His my dining hymen, table. You, Sometimes you when hymen? I'm using a spoon, I just throw it like in the garden. All my cutlery <laughs> and, and plates from my last place in garden. <laughs> Sometimes if we couldn't be fucked. He'll just throw his cutlery in the gardens or something. If he yeah, could be see, and yeah, it's yeah. metal. It's like a rock. It belongs back. Yeah, it's like it's a mine. feature. <laughs> yeah, but we bought more spoons the other day. We bought heaps it's of things. Yeah, yeah. Just the other day. We've been here a long time now. There's plenty enough things. No, you're not going to get out of this. No, yeah, dude, it's just a fork. You're in the wrong. Or spoon. They're the same thing, pretty much. There's heaps of them. We're going to have a chat after this. <laughs> um, next question from Dylan B. Uh, Muddy, do you still have feelings for cows? Yeah, no, I don't. I'm while. married now, and you know, to be honest, I haven't really thought about slinging my thing up a bitch and slamming away at a moo cow for a while. Oh man, it used to be fun though. I'd be on their back and pull their heads back and slit their throats while I was having sex with them. Man, do you remember that, man? That was wild. 
Yeah, the killing got a bit too much. <laughs> well, well, the the look on the cows' faces was almost why I did it. The other cows. Yeah, that that's scary. Fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's good that you stopped that. I think though. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. You have more time in your day now. Yeah, not really, eh? That's why I just don't have any time anymore. Next question is from uh, your boys shotguns. Your boys shotgun. Your boys hot guns or your boys shotguns? Maybe both. Sorry. What is the weirdest thing a guest has done at your house? I remember Michael used to fucking at his own house would do weird things to guests. Well, yeah, what's a weird thing a guest has done here? I don't know. Austin <laughs> shat on the bonnet of a car here. Oh yeah, that was um, a bit strange. The uh, some cunt went missing here. That was strange behavior. He wasn't really a guest here though. Oh yeah, I'm did invite think. him over. It's always just strange. I remember when Michael um, lived. With in high school, Michael would know that friends were coming over, and I'd hear him giggling in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd ask him what he was doing, and he'd come out and he'd have a shit in his hand, his own shit in his hand. I actually <laughs> remember doing that act. And then he would go and play hide them under the sink in the in the bathroom and close the door so it didn't smell too bad. Wait for the guests to come over, say hi, and oh, yeah, yeah, you on, you know, all the initial little highs, and then you're like, oh, hang on, guys, I'm just going to the toilet, and then he'd walk off, and then st- everyone's still in like the small talk phase, everyone's just very like normal, and then Michael would come out with his shit in his hand, like, do you guys like, what do I do with this? <laughs> Where do I put this? And everyone Whoa. would just stop, stop talking, and just be in such shock and so grossed out. Did and anyone then, see that and not come back? And then neither every time, nearly every time, me or Henry, whichever uh, one of us could get to him first, would <laughs> slap his hand right. so his shit would go flying on the wall <laughs> and slide down. <laughs> every time. Oh. <laughs> she would get knocked out of his hand yeah, there and there'd be a massive skid mark people, on the wall <laughs> did people not come back <laughs> after no, they're, no, they're like cool friends of ours yeah they're friends that's what I mean but was anyone like just a bit oh that's not I, I remember doing it at parties like when I have parties in my house I think it might have shocked some some people that night because they weren't like close close friends but <laughs> normally it was just like friends from school yeah. <laughs> I remember we did Greg's mate who goes to, he's like this dude that goes to church Dave <laughs> <laughs> he fucking did it in front of this like, he's like father of three old, he's like 40 years old. old we're in his touch footy team and he we're, comes like, over we're like, like teenagers at the time <laughs> and then we go and having celebrations after our like touch football season drinks at mine and he came over and like witnessed it and he he sort of was like fine with it but he yeah he was a cool guy yeah anyway Long story short, we, we, yeah, a lot of dumb shit. A lot of shit. All right. What else have you done, seen? I don't know. Jackson's done some pretty weird naked shit. Over there, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, don't know if it's the, I don't know if it was the weirdest thing I've seen, but it's, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I've done more weird things to guests. Yeah. I've done weird things to people. Like I had Connor in my room in front of everyone and not one person stepped in to help and i just had him for like a good 15 minutes jesus oh my bad yeah everyone was drinking having a good time i just started started, oh you were holding him down i I remember it i dragged him and just put my weight on him and just started was he trying to leave he was a bit upset yeah and he said let me go and i said no and i just kept going and going and going oh my god and little michael little michael was just like so happy to see that (laughs) And yeah, oh, everyone, no one did anything oh, to help. Connor, is it's this kind of real? Can you confirm up. this? Even, I have a vision of walking. It was in your room. In my bedroom. Right? Everyone yeah. was in my bedroom. And I remel- remember, and he's like screaming, stop. Yeah, stop. stop. So and it was Eli- like 15 minutes. Elias was like, this is so good. He just said, <laughs> just calmly said how happy he was. And yeah, he, Elias, his best friend, didn't even help him. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. crazy. Well, yeah. That's special. That's like a fun moment on so a bus. I feel like fucking- someone else got in there with me. I don't know who though. Uh, feels full I think that inspired me to throw everything out of your wardrobe onto you guys. Yeah, that ca- that was when everyone started. It was the leaving. chaos. Oh, sorry. Think, yeah. That's sorry. Yeah, that's all right. Man. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that's you okay. I emptied Matt's if, wardrobe onto the ground. If um, <laughs> 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 that's all 
It's all right, you know. They throw my. I think I did it on you in your bed while it was happening with Connor. Oh, that's fine. I was. It was in defense of Connor. Then stop. Stop the. uh, They they throw my wardrobe. They they piss on my table. They. I've pissed your bed a few times. Table. They they attack my laundry when it's dry. No, that was that was Jay. But we put everything back where it was. You're responsible. You're he's your employee. Yeah, yeah. Well, so you I, are responsible. I wasn't. I, I. Refu- oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Although you did put it back perfectly. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't work. Exactly. Didn't know that was at it all. fixable? Oh. I think we broke the clothes also. It only works one side now. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. 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 Um, but yeah, I don't know. Weird things. It's. But well, I've just done more weird things to guests. Yeah. I told the story about that kid in primary school. I used to pretend to give him apple juice oh man that but was that, just uh, that's uh, like that's bad karma coming your way but very what'd you piss <sighs> no 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 so there's this kid in primary school he like would always come over unannounced on the weekend like just so annoying oh so he was sort of that kid that oh man shouldn't be at your no, house yeah, yeah. he would be knocking on the windows at 7 a.m okay i get it mum, <laughs> mum, like hated it as well yeah i can see your mum being annoyed as you would it's that. like you're it's fucking you're trying to have a sleep and these kids just looking through the windows yeah like, there he's not all like there mine, you know yeah. and and he'd always be i was like oh like I have to be forced to fucking interact with him and play with him like do you want so i would just from my own entertainment would just mess with him because it was just so shit otherwise how are we I would have been like eight. Oh man, even at eight you had the mind. And and so he, I'd be like, oh, do you want like apple juice, water? And he'd be like, oh yeah, apple juice. So I'd go get a glass of water and I'd just sit an apple in it and then I'd go and hand it to him and with a completely straight face. So he'd see me coming and he'd sort of start smiling like, oh, this guy's like taking the piss. But then he would see how straight faced I was. <laughs> like how Germans operate. Like I was just completely straight faced. Like, here's, here's your apple juice, here's your apple juice. <laughs> And then he'd he'd take it, get so confused, but would be too polite to say anything. And then he'd sort of just take the apple out and drink the water and then eat the apple. Oh, man. That happened multiple times. And once I did it, I did it with a carrot. I was like, oh, what about like carrot juice? And he was like, yeah, Carla, some carrot juice. And then I come out with just water with a carrot sitting in it and hand it to him again. Oh, my God. And then it led to bikes on train tracks. Yeah, oh yeah, that, yeah, that's that's probably some bad karma coming that way. But oh. it was a shit bike, though. To be fair, somebody clip that. It's a great. <laughs> Convince the kid to put his bike on the train. Like I'd tracks. never, I'd never seen a train go past this place. <laughs> I, I don't know, this kid was just very. It was just very. I don't even know if I should tell this story. I was a kid. Or no, I was fucking eight years old. I think right? we have told this before in past. But yeah, Look, I don't feel good. Long about story this. short, I don't feel good about this. All right, the this bike not, got destroyed. He never had his bike well, again. Was, I don't know. Probably, yeah. It, we just, it was, oh. it was stupid. I regret it. Oh, if I could go back and change it, I would. I was a fucking kid. All right, it's it a probably, funny story now. So I just oh, convinced man. this kid. I just convinced him. I was like walking home with another mate. And we're like, um, oh, mate, dude, it would be... This is the same kid, like, before I explain this story, where he would draw dicks in class all over his paper. And he'd show me, and like, we'd laugh and laugh. And then I'd be like, dude, do you know who would find this hilarious? The teacher. The teacher would think this is hilarious. And then oh, and then he's right. like, no way. No, like he's like, no, no. And then I eventually convinced him. I was like, dude, I, I swear to you, like, this is really good. It's actually really good drawing. She will love this. <laughs> And then he fucking believed me and walked up to her. <laughs> and he shows the teacher this page full of dicks. <laughs> like with oh. a massive, massive smile on his face. <laughs> Just oh, puts no. her full dead in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, Stephen, what is this? What is this? <laughs> so I go off at him. And then he looks oh. back at me. And I'm fucking in tears, like trying, but not trying to show him. And I'm just like, I shrug and I'm just like, <laughs> Play it off like you don't know. Pretend like I'm as shocked as he is. What are you? Are you year four or five? Year three or something, man. Oh, dude, oh my that god, is, that's, that's like the fucking... super bad story. It's crazy. Oh, that's, that's... <coughs> oh, wow. And then he had to go to the principal's office. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I convinced him to live his bike track on a train track, and um, yeah, it was no, it gone. was it was gone. You never saw that bike again. Yeah. Oh man, I remember when you told me that in high school. I just could not believe that was a real story. That last story is very mean and I feel bad about it. It's a good story now. And if Stephen, if you're watching, I will happily pay you for that bike. But the other (laughs) shit, that's on you, man. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Oh God. Um, Yeah, we've all done something mean when we- We, And we did that so you guys now know not to do that. Yeah. I think. 
Just know if you think about doing that, you will regret it later. So don't do it. Yeah. So sorry, Stephen. Yeah. Is that his name? Stephen. Yeah. <laughs> Is that in Toowoomba? Uh, next question from Dion Sharat Sharat Sharat, depending where he's from. Um, um, all right, how how the fuck do you guys give Matt a point for the Capitals when he forgot Melbourne? Okay, I've seen a lot of comments about this. Yes, uh, when we did the uh, geography thing, I confidently read out all the things. I fucking left Melbourne out. Yeah, I and didn't. None of us picked up. I on was it. too high. I literally yeah. just didn't even realize. We're all a bit out of that, and um, yeah, I I left out Melbourne. So good pick up, everyone. You snuck one by and won. Yeah, I I didn't win that one anyway. So oh really? Yeah, you the right well, person won. Really? Fuck, I thought you won it. No, nah, you won the Jerusalem. Next question from Mikey uh, Bittner. Bittner, Bittner. Um, uh, are you boys ever going to revisit the basketball explosion experiment? Yeah, one day. It's, just, oh. it's a bit scary, that one, eh? I think because, like, it's sort of like the potato cannon, the spud gun. If you do it too close, you can feel this shock wave that I swear does damage to the insides. But, like, imagine if it went off in your hand. I know, that's what I mean. It's close to your body. Probably going to fuck you up. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. I don't know, maybe. If, yeah. It's scary, well, that maybe one. Maybe we would do it with big pair of tongs. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we just sort of slowly get closer to it. Yeah. That could be it. We pump it up. So, you know how it just went off randomly on the last time? Yeah. We pump it up and bounce it from different distances away until, like, we start throwing it at each other. Oh! That is not a bad video. We just throw a pumped up ball at each other back oh, and forth. It's like and, hot potato, but, but hot... We, Hot, hot basketball oh dude and then you catch it and it blows up in your hands oh, and you, potato, lose, you go, lose one of your hands or you go to catch it it goes through and blows up on your face <laughs> or you just become steven yeah oh, fuck it up. mad all right uh, final, final question, question oh this name is extremely hard it's an extremely, extremely hard, hard name, name to, to say i'm gonna give it a crack okay. though depending where it's from I'm going to go Yons Chuguay. My apologies. Oh my God, man. It's a tough that was one. Shit. That was like, the way you read that was like so racist. That was Pikachu level. I doubt that. Pikachu level, I'll accept that. Level. So oh. racist. Um, uh, I'm also going to reword the question because it's a cool question, but he's worded it funny, but I will reword it. You sure it it's funny. a he? Could Quickly. A Could be a girl. So um, don't assume genders, mate. Uh, when Aliens is finally revealed to the public and everyone finally knows, how will it change the world in your in your view? Yeah, who knows? Once aliens are fully out there in the world for everyone to see and they're it could migrating be, to Earth, it could how will it, it could change unify the everyone world? or it could divide everyone? Oh, it'll yeah. be used to fucking control like everything always. Mark will be very negative in his answer. Sorry. But... Um, <laughs> So yeah, Michael it's an thinks interesting question. World but look, in a way, yeah. though, it'd be co- like for me personally, it'd be so, it's going to be it'd be so cool. Be like, I'd play pool with crazy. some. And Imagine playing pool with an alien. And I think it'd be it, cool if they bring cool things. And if I think have. if a civilization is that advanced, they must have at some stage reached enlightenment and realized no fighting or war or anything can exist for there to be a living civilization. So they probably are so advanced that they are nice maybe it's just us who left so long ago and then they've just come back to check on what's left and like imagine talking to them and then they say oh yeah this is how you do that cunt you don't need to fucking worry about the fucking the fucking the fucking car not starting like you know they could teach you shit bro like to fly don't you want that yes would you news yeah so close to sleeping pong break All right, guys. Um, fucking, we have been going for a while and we want to try and start getting... I know some of you really like the longer podcast, but we want to try and get them down to like an hour and a half. So we're going to skip the movie reviews this week, but don't worry, they will be back next week. I promise you will be a little promise, okay? I promise you they'll be back next week, cunt. And we're going to replace it with... We've been sent a huge package in the P.O. Box. P.O. Box 256 taken 401 Pass us the letters, Australia. Michael. If you want to send us shit, we open it live. The letters, Michael, pass us the letters. 
Yes, we have some hair. Thank you very much. All right, we just got sent some pubic hair out of this. Lena, I'm going to add it to the box. <laughs> Man, this looks hard, dude. <laughs> Look at Matt looking at the box. There could be an animal in there, don't you know? I like it. It's hot. It's Whoa! Different. What, is it hair? Yeah, a lot. All sure. right, we're getting sent some hair just now, guys. It's getting everywhere. Keep like, it coming, guys. Yeah, Keep Michael, the hair Michael. coming. Here you go. Oh, shit, that's a lot. Keep Did the... You take it out, you no. sick fuck. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. It's getting everywhere already. There's heaps now. Yeah, it's growing rapidly. Oh, oh it's, it's going to fall, gonna out, fall out. out. It's going to fall out. That's why it's going to Why do you get in there? Just do that. All right, thank you so much, everyone, sending the hair. Keep the hair coming. Now we've got a massive... Matt's going to be doing something with his hair, the season finale, so please no. keep the hair coming. Oh, Oh, that's a oh lot of God. hair, dude. Oh, did you touch a lot of it? How much oh. How much oh. to put some of that in your mouth, Mike? Oh. Oh. Wow, that hair jar is really starting to fill up now, isn't it? Smell it. Very good work, everybody. <laughs> Very good work. All right. That's fucking All disgusting. right, let's have a look at that big old oh, box. Yeah. What do you got I hope there? it's treats. It's Careful. I hope it's treats. Oh, oh no. no. It's not treats, it's a container is it? within a container. That's not good. I'm not doing the rest there. Made it up. Looks like animal. Oh no! It came from overseas. Like a cage. Yeah, it kind of looks like an animal cage in a box. To be it came honest. Came from overseas. Oh, imagine if some fucking monkey jumped out right now. It's some kind of bucket. We got sent a bucket. It's Matt's new chair. Ah, it's Matt's new chair. Oh wow. Oh. What? What's in the bucket? No, I don't nothing. know, but there's an asshole photo there. <laughs> I'll take that. Holy shit. Someone sent us a bucket with a picture of an asshole. All right. A gaped asshole on it. All right, there's a lot here oh. to go through, so I'm just going to pull it out bit by bit. Just going to put that over there. A zigzag hemp cones. Give us a look. Oh, wow. Yeah. Some pre roll. Fuck yeah. Thank that you so fucked. much. Uh, there's a letter on this one. I don't know what that is. Edibles? There's a few letters here, actually. Edibles? Hello, boys. Uh, if you're reading this letter, you are still alive. Good. This means you can utilize the new year you'll receive in this package. Use the contents wisely. For your safety is at risk. I am deploying defensive and offensive weaponry to use at will. I've provided you with photos of usage and keepsake, I think he says that, to keep you, I don't know what that word is, thorough through, keep you, pu oh, sorry, to keep you pushing through. Love, Brett. P.S. This message will self-destruct in three, two, one. And my wife said I couldn't handle the toys. Oh, wow. Our family... Family invented this in the 1990s and where and where's worldwide. Oh my god, there's pictures on each thing of they're, him using this. They're bringing it back out this year. I wanted you all to have the first of the production. What is it? Spin and pop. No way. This has been opened, hasn't it? Yeah, I, I think this has been used. I kind of want to eat this. Look, there's photos of him in this. That goes on his <laughs> dick. <laughs> oh my god this guy sent us a box of some fucking oh weird god. shit and pictures it, okay, of him wearing so it. this thing which he's been on his dick is called a cock pro 3000 so yeah. it must go on his dick somehow wow it looks Look at like this it spins in your mouth oh it's not on what's this oh it's okay what's that this is a silicon jackrabbit ring. So it must... Oh, you wrap it around your oh, dick yeah. and then the chick has lots of fun with it. But there's like two dick things on it. It's double. Okay, this is called the Fetish Fantasy Series. Is this these just... would have been quite expensive, man. Sex toys are not cheap. I feel like these have all been used though. Oh, well, yeah, this one's open. No, these look like they haven't been used. Well, there you go. This looks like um, uh, uh, face masks and, and right. like bondage we'll, things we'll, like to tie you up. We'll divvy these out at the end. Man, um, is there any candy apart from this one? I'm looking. I don't know what this is. It looks like a bag of some kind. Do you reckon that bucket is a seat for you? No. <laughs> oh, there's some kind of sex suite. Oh, there's something in the bottom. It looks like candy. Yes, please be candy. Please be 
Oh, he says it's for Bosley. Oh. Bar Bar Biscuits. Is it safe for dogs or yeah, for I know, humans? It says Bosley well? at the top. Yeah, but does it say it's for dogs? I don't know. You have a look at that. Oh, yeah. All right. And that's. Uh, Thank you so much for all of that. Do you reckon this is safe to eat, Michael? Or is this guy like shoved it up his ass or something? Man, I don't know. Can you smell it? His dick was on this one. I can see the photo. He probably would. Oh, yeah. Why would. There is a hair on it. Where? There's not. Do you reckon this is? Yeah, it's not on. Smell it. Ah! <laughs> Just risk it. <laughs> he licked it. <laughs> spin it. Spin it. <laughs> uh, Press the button. Spin it. <laughs> oh my god! There's another photo here. Oh no! Imagine if it's this. Oh my god! He put it in his bum. You're lying. Yeah. Oh, wow. That would have been so good. Oh, well, thank you very much for that. Oh. That's been absolutely outrageous. Thank you, dude. Your time is there for us to waste. Picking up your phone was your first mistake. Ha ha. Ha ha. It's prank call time. Look at that. Uh, excuse me. I, I just called the store and had someone hang up on me darling I'm just after to speak to someone about an issue I've had yep was that you I was just talking to darling uh, I'm not too sure um, I pick up the phone but there was no one on the other side okay sorry darling sorry but that's my mistake okay yeah. no, alright what was the issue you were having uh, so I've come in yesterday evening to pick up a couple of bottles of Shiraz for the girls. And yeah. I've bought one of your bottles. It was delicious. Okay. I've had it many times and it was delicious. But the second bottle I purchased was a St. Hallet. You know the St. Hallet bottle you have? Uh, St. Hallett? Yeah, correct, correct. And that was in the Shiraz? Yeah, Faith Shiraz bottle. I'm looking yeah. at it right, right now, darling. Okay? Yeah, so we do have uh, a couple bottles of that left. Uh, yes, I'm saying, darling, I bought one of those bottles last night, and one and two glasses later I realised the gl- the bottle has gone rancid darling okay the bottle is rancid and the wine is very vinegary okay yeah if, I mean if you wanted to bring that bottle in we can give you a, a new one yes del- well that's what I was going to suggest before you cut me off okay yeah I'm bringing, bringing this bottle back, okay? And I de- yep. demand to ha- have another bottle, okay? Because that's not acceptable. I'm just trying to have a good night with the girls. Yeah. Okay, so I'll bring empty bottle back. And just to be clear... I will be receiving a full replacement. What was that, sorry? Or four? I will be receiving, okay, a full yep. replacement of my bottle of San Hala. Yeah, so I can give you a free bottle if you bring in the one that's um, damaged or not up to standard, then I can give you a replacement bottle, absolutely. Even if the bottle is empty? If it's empty, um, it might be better if you come in tomorrow with my manager, just because I'm not sure if we're able to do that. I'm the only person here. I'm entertaining people this evening, darling. Okay, not tomorrow. So I'm gonna need a new bottle today. Okay. Yeah, but we can't give a new bottle if you've drunk. Like, excuse, excuse me. Okay. I was the only one drinking that bottle, darling. Some, one of the girls had a glass with me, and she said ex- exactly the same thing as I'm saying, okay? 
vinegar, 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 okay? I know my rights as the consumer, okay? And you must reimburse me the full price. Sure, mate. Yeah, if you want to come in, I can replace it. Excuse me, I am not mad. My name is Rhonda Thompson, darling, and I'll be coming in, and you will have some respect for your customer. Thank you. Or you'll be okay, hearing from my lawyer. Okay. Okay, my I'm, I'm uncle, very sorry about that. Studying to do lawyer, and he won't be hearing that. Tell you that much right now, mate. Now. Now. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, okay. I'll see you shortly, Dong, but just remember the St. Helen. Right at yeah, the, I've right put the St. Helen Shiraz behind the counter for you. Full bottle, darling. I won't be trying. Full bottle, yes. Yeah. Now. Yeah, full bottle. Now, okay. I'm coming in now. Okay. Okay, yeah. darling. Don't you send no one I'll get there. I'll call my... Yeah, I've got, I've got the bottle with you right now. Don't you dare interrupt me, darling. You do your job, okay, and I'll do mine. Yep. Okay, sweetheart, I'll see you shortly. I'm just waiting for an Uber, okay? Sorry, what was that? I'll see you shortly. I'll see you shortly. Darling, I'm just waiting for an Uber. Okay. But I'm coming right now. Yep. Okay. Right now. I'll see you shortly, darling. Yep. See you shortly, darling. Darling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I wonder if that would work. See, imagine if we had two days on the podcast, so I could get dressed as Rhonda right now <laughs> yeah. and walk into that bottle. Of- now. That was so yeah. good, dude. Holy shit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. All right, everyone. Hey, hey. All right, everyone. Give us a five star review on Spotify if you would, please. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're on our road to 40,000 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> Whoa. We're the best, 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 we're the best.